Radio plays Marvel's Avengers. Um, we're a little apprehensive <laughs> about this, considering the process we just had to get to to even start the game. So, you know, we'll see how this goes. It's do you want to? And we got Wyatt. Hi. Do you want to describe the process we went to? Uh, to uh, so it makes you link your account. Ryan? For some reason, I put in the password that I've always used for my Square Enix account, and it says that's not a valid password. So I have to reset my password. I reset my password and learn I put my password in correctly the first time. So, here we are. I had to reset my password even though I put it in correctly. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's stronger now and it's different, so therefore, sure, I'll do it. The other thing, too, is that it immediately opens up with a Fortnite promotional It reward. does. I should have left and that up here. Let's go to the marketplace. Let's look at the marketplace. Actually, no, no, just go to news. Version. It's in the news tab. I it's see. in the news tab. Also, is it just me or is it like weirdly blurry? Just yeah. a little bit blurry. It, it looks a little off. The and text that might looks be because blurry. that might be because like I've been playing so much Halo recently and I've been running that at like a higher resolution. But I'm like, wondering it if looks... it's just because these news things are images and not like UI in the game. So the font Maybe. isn't scaling to the resolution. Maybe. I also would like to say they thank you for signing into your Square Enix account before starting, even though you don't really have much of a choice. Man, look in the at matter. these like epic outfits. What is this Hulk out? This definitely is blurry. <laughs> I'm looking at this. This UI is definitely blurry. Yep. 100%. This is weird. What's going on yep. here? That's concerning. <laughs> oh, but don't worry, Ryan. It's just a beta. No, but this is they concerning. Have... No, no, but Ryan, they have two weeks to fix what? this What? I didn't think we would issues. have an issue with them having a blurry UI. <laughs> That's such a weird issue. <laughs> see, the big the big problem I have is that I see things that cost 100 credits, and then I see things that cost 1,400 credits. I'm going yep. to make the assumption, because we, we don't know right now, that 100 credits is probably a dollar. Yep. These are $14 skins, most likely. I'm not okay with that. And I don't know if you watched uh, Skill Up's video on it, but he was looking at the battle pass that they have for this, and they have this whole thing where it's like, oh, there's all this free stuff in the battle pass that's labeled free, and then there's a bunch of empty space in each tier. So Dude, he's I like, okay, there's that. probably a paid battle pass now, too. 100%. And they're just not showing it for the... By the way, I'm going to try my best to not call this a beta, because this is not a beta. This is a demo. At the very most, it's a stress. it's like a server stress test. But calling it a beta, in my opinion, is kind of insulting. Because there's no way, there's no way they'll be able to fix a lot of the issues that people have been talking about in, what, two weeks? Three weeks? There's, it was, there's and what's no concerning way. to me is this is, so this looks like a skin they've shown before in the, uh, I'm looking at the Hulk skin. This looks like a skin they've shown us before in pre-release footage. Except it's what? recolored. And this says it's an, a legendary outfit. Which has me concerned oh, that they're going to no. have recolors of the same legendary oh, outfits. No. Oh, Ooh. I'm oh gonna say, no. Through itself look is looking uh, powerful. I kind of want that. That's how they get you. You see the looks of like your favorite comics and you're like, ooh, got to spend some dosh. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, this legendary Iron Man skin is kind of tight. Yeah, I mean, I just it's don't... It's like want... dark colored one. I'm just so concerned about how expensive this is going to be. And the fact that you... The weird thing to me is this looks like the Fall Guys store. Legitimately. Like, it looks like the yeah. Fall Guys store. But the Fall Guys store, everything you can get by just playing the game. And it's also where the... You know, it's also... Keep in mind, Fall Guys is what? $20? Yeah, $20 right? total free if you have PS Plus. So... Yeah. And this is this will be sixty, and I think there's like a like a seventy and eighty dollar. Sure, like, I think that there's probably a hundred dollar tier as well. Um, oh god! All right, all right. Shall let's let's start let's... this out. We know we're probably not going to be doing multiplayer from the start. Actually, I want to look in the settings. What do we got in here? Closed captions. Oh, wait. Wait, where, where's the setting? I don't even see the settings. Uh, where's the settings menu? I don't see it. Anyway. Differentiate who's speaking. That's going to be weird. Um, spoken dialogue. Where'd you find the uh, settings menu, Ryan? Uh, oh, there it is. I'm, a, right I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Okay. I guess we'll do closed captions. That might be aggressive. Uh, hover flight style on. Oh, you got a flight style option. Interesting. Multi-tap interact style. 
Okay, so if you disable ma matchmaking, you can pause in the zones. That's cool. Ooh. <laughs> That's always nice. Like, if you do prefer to play solo, yeah. it does play like an offline game, which is nice. Yeah, it's like, it's like if you ever play uh, Dark Souls, but you play Dark Souls by yourself, it's like you can't pause it. Campaign difficulty kind of normal. I'm not going to touch the campaign oh. difficulty so far. Yeah, same. Right, we got all these all right. controls, HUD UI, voiceover language. What always bothers me is why in a, in console games do I have this weird mouse cursor? Yeah, right? no, it started with Destiny. It's always a bad decision. I, I'm not a fan. <laughs> it's just slow. It's not responsive. Yeah. All right, shall we? Yeah. Let's I'm go. just going to do normal. I don't even... I'm just going to do normal. I don't want to make more enemy attacks unable to be countered. That's going to give me a bad time. 100% sure of that. Oh, well, but Ryan, I'm watching this awesome cutscene now. You're going to have to be... I am too. You're just going to have to... Narrator, you know that old saying? Never meet your heroes. <laughs> Crystal Dynamics. Well, Let's see what you got. I did. The Ida of Montreal did something on this. Was awesome. The Avengers were everything I imagined. Hello, San Francisco! Whoa! No, oh, the bridge exploded. Thor. Tony, check it out. Dude, it, it is just so weird. I think Captain America specifically just looks different enough from the MCU version while still looking kind of like they're going for a similar thing. Yeah, that it's is just, just with, the, with all the characters. They're they're like Yeah, for some reason Cap off. is the one that bothers me the most. I don't know, Iron Man's suit looks looks yeah, fairly like like an Iron Man. I think it looks uh, simpler than his MCU suit. His MCU suit's got all the like nanotech and stuff. Well, uh, but his older suits though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this looks like they're going for like an Iron Man two style. And, like the thing is, I probably I don't think I'm gonna buy this game or pre-order it. At no, I no, might. I'm not. I may certainly pick this up when it's on sale. Why is that a hold? Yeah, it's this is weird. It's like that should just be a button press, not a hold. Um, Use. It plays oh. like Ghost of Tsushima. Oh god, the motion blur is so aggressive already. It's ugh. This is so god. aggressive. Ugh. Dude, this is so much worse than like Fall Guys was. And I was complaining about Fall Guys having a really bad motion blur that you couldn't turn off. Oh, the the uh, lift syncing is bad too. Frame rate, frame rate looks like it's taking a hit. Are you using a pro or a base pro. PS4? Yeah, I'm using a, a base PS4 right now. Yeah, this is certainly... It's not holding steady. I wonder if there's an option. Maybe I have it in resolution mode? Can I... Oh, settings, options. Do we have graphics settings? I don't think so. See, I want to say fighting as Thor kind of feels like fighting as Kratos, but it doesn't feel nearly as good. He, he's, the, I think the sound design is what's weird for me, because it feels like you're just kind of like slightly bonking people, you know? Yeah, it's not, it's not a satisfying... It doesn't sound like a hammer sound. I, I feel like I should be hitting people with a hammer in the face. Oh, he's yeah. got a Leviathan axe. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I mean. He's got the ranged attack. Like from uh. Like from the Like his kick his cape, where it crosses across like the front of his chest, keeps like bouncing around and jiggling for me. The uh, the biggest problem for me right now is the motion blur. Hundred percent. I can't fucking. Thing. Are you playing at sixty frames right now? Oh, absolutely not. This is I'm... no way. This is sixty frames. But are you playing in performance or in... Um... I have no clue how to set that. It doesn't appear to be an option. I'm pretty sure there was, because I... I I'm pretty sure there is an uh, L1 to trigger Warrior's Fury. Maybe I just I need to get to like the actual game first. Usually games will default to resolution, and I feel like that's what this is doing, and I really hate that. Um, mm -hmm. God, we paused at a weird moment. Oh, graphics mode 4K. Here it is. It was right there. Highest performance is what I want. I don't care if the game looks a little worse. Oh, it does shit. definitely look a little worse. At, okay, at this is 60? a little better. This is a little better. 
Okay. I don't know if this is thing, 60. It's certainly better than it was. Because um, here's the thing. I don't have the option right now. Oh, okay, well, this thing. I gotta break this thing. That's not the game. Man. That was me not realizing that <laughs> there was a breakable object in front of me. Hold to break shields. Okay. I love how they told me to how to break shields like a minute after they already started attacking me, so I didn't know what to do. <laughs> okay. I mean, the animations are good. Oh yeah, it's not a... I want to say it's not a bad looking game. I'm sure if I was playing this on PC where I could like... I think on like PS5 more. this would be good, and, and PC obviously, that you can like brute force mm -hmm. it to be good enough. The thing is like with the Spider-Man controversy... I probably, if I pick this up, I'm gonna pick it up on PS4. But at the same time, like... I don't want to support that shit, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I don't want to support it, but Spider-Man is like my... Of these characters, is definitely my favorite. And they know that, too. Yeah, they, they're well aware. Oh, Screw this this on-rail section with, uh, with Iron Man feels... not good. Oh, jeez. I just used Odin Force? That was kind of cool. Oh man, this on rail. These section. enemies are so generic, though. Yeah. Press R1 to activate. All right, there are definitely elements of this that I see could be cool. I'm having fun with the Leviathan axe. Well, that's the thing. Is like if this was just a simple kind of like, you know, co-op beat 'em up, I wouldn't. Really? Like a high budget version of, of Dark Al or Alliance Baldur's what not Baldur's Gate, um Ultimate Alliance. That's Yeah, I would be fine with that. You know? That, I, I wouldn't have a problem with oh, that. God, this flight feels weird. It, are you doing the on rail section? Yeah, I'm, I'm just swept. It doesn't feel on. good, man. It does not feel good. How do you if you're flying in the air, how do you fly back down? There's no like drop button, you literally just Is there any auto aim? I think there is. This is super hard to tell. There needs to be. Oh god, I so can't aim the controller. Uh, I can with some games, it kind of depends. Like this one, I'm having a hard time right now. Activate Unibeam Pro. Unibeam's kind of fun. The convoy is carrying classified shield prototypes. It does seem like they, they're trying a little bit to like distinguish characters and their move sets. Like they're they're putting in some effort to make them feel different, you know? I mean like yeah, this like, already feels better than something like the Anthem beta. Like I could see myself having fun with this for a campaign of a game. It's just the whole live service idea has really not sold me. I will say this is very scripted. Like, yeah. very, very scripted. God, I, aiming this feels so weird. It's like and, and, weirdly and like, sensitive. Being and, and being scripted for like this intro sequence is fine. I hope. I don't know if it opens up later. I hope it does. Because this is. I, I would not like it being this scripted for how many hours we're supposed to play. Is this Especially like, to, like repeat missions. That's the thing. Are we supposed to repeat these missions too? Because like these feel way like less like um, I I wouldn't want to repeat these. Yeah, know? this wouldn't be fun three times. Why is it moving? Someone's initiated the security protocols. The Chimera's autopilot has taken over. <coughs> we'll need backup. We're heading back. Negative. Secure the bridge. Those weapons can't get into the city. Copy that. Hulk feels Chimera's. weird. He feels like he doesn't. I haven't started playing this yeah. yet. He feels like he doesn't have like the weight that he needs, if that makes sense. And the thing is, we've already had a perfect Hulk game. Hulk game. Ultimate Destruction is the perfect Hulk game. I haven't played that personally. It's so good. 
But I mean, how long ago was that? Like, we can't come like, up with what we can't come up with years. better Hulk with like a better Hulk game in 15 years. Like, oh, it's disappointing. Really Absolutely. This doesn't. He feels very floaty. Yeah, he just doesn't feel like he has the weight that he needs. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh my God, he really feels floaty. This is weird. His his footsteps have no noise. They don't. Oh my God, I just noticed that. I, I like instantly noticed that. I was like, his, his footsteps should make noises. He's Hulk. It's like every all the sound is like, muted. Given, and given that this bridge is falling apart, I would expect the bridge to be like crumbling under his weight more than it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dude, even when you like, he like jumps. It doesn't oh make my a good god! Sound. If you jump and then just spam your like square attack, you can totally just float through the air. By oh the way. Oh my god, you can. I mean, that's how attacks work in video games. I'm, I'm not super. Yeah, but like, it's a lot. All right, it's so the game straight lot. up just took control away from me. Like, I was relatively close, and it just automatically like made me jump. But my camera was pointing the other. Okay. What just happened? The game did just teleport me. <laughs> I did literally just teleport. Um, <laughs> hey, all right, all right. There's a part where you like. You pick up a tank. I'm not gonna spoil it. There's actually a really, really funny bit with a tank. Uh, you'll get to it fairly soon. Okay, per performance that was actually... mode is instantly way better than what it was. I, see, I don't have that, unfortunately. Okay. Alright, we're having some trouble here, chat. <laughs> this is, uh... It feels like I should have really got... be running along this wall and not... I don't think they can. I think it's just a, a little just button press. I know it's weird though. Okay, real. I'm I'm used to like games that allow a lot of freedom of movement, and this is advanced movement. I think Hulk Hulk is not that kind of character, so that's not really surprising to me. He is behaving super weirdly though. Like, this is weird. Yeah, this feels off, very off. Hulk is definitely the worst. At least in this scripted scenario, maybe if he, if he feels better. And I also find it kind of strange how he, his ultimate ability is called Thunderclap. I wouldn't have called it Thunderclap. It's because it's called Thunderclap in other Hulk games. Yeah. Is it? Okay. It's just weird because, like, I don't know. It's a small thing, but, like, bothering me. Have you gotten to the tank bit yet? No. I just Thunderclap. All right, Thunderclap's cool, because that is literally like a thing you can do after you unlock it in Ultimate Destruction, and it's really, really cool. But in that game, it's like not limited. You need to spam it all the time. It literally blows everything around you up. It's super fun. Here, it did so, feel like very weird. So I'm a sucker for any game that kind of has like, like an evade or dodge button, so I immediately like that. Ooh, Captain America is kind of fun. It's he gets very like locked in place. It's very animation heavy, but it's kind of fun. Is that supposed to be a joke? Not the time. Get your heads in the game. Although his, his sound effect when he hits someone with his shield is a little. I mean, when Cap has the helmet on, he looks fine. Oh, are you playing as Cap right now? No, I'm. I'm in a cutscene. Okay. But like him hitting people with his shield, the sound effect is kind of like. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Repeat that cap. I'm having trouble here. Matt, do you read? It's like nothing. It's that it comes through one cap end. <laughs> yeah, I see myself like if I was in co-op with like you and Brett and we were just playing and like having a casual fun. I could see myself having Yeah, a this lot feels fun. like a high budget uh ultimate alliance, which is great cuz like ultimate alliance is a lot of fun, but it is definitely budget it's budget it feels budget it's fun for a few hours at a time maybe like an hour at a time but i would not play that game for more than like an hour this is like okay you cracked open a couple beers with the boys and you just want to have some casual fun oh yeah like, Cap i think castle is the best so far instantly did you get to the tank part and hulk where he just kicks the guy yeah, 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 <laughs> it was yeah. so funny <laughs> it was so good Brooklyn, rock. oh yeah cap instantly feels the best yeah this is this is fun. Like I would do yeah. this. Yeah. I I also just like Punchy Boys. Like Punchy Boys are are my kind of character. It. 
And I just love when Cap throws his his shield and it like bounces between five people. That's great. You know what I just realized too? I forgot that like Captain America's supposed to die in the story, which means you're not gonna be playing as like by far the best character. So oh no. Far. No, he's For not a gonna while. die. You know he's not gonna die. Excuse no, me. I know. No 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 no. I know, but that means we won't be playing as him for a while, which okay, sucks because okay, by far like he's this. the best. You character. can mark enemies with his shield and throw it at multiple. Yeah. He's the best fucking character. <laughs> oh, and his shield makes good sounds? Why doesn't Thor's hammer make good sounds? <laughs> Honestly, I thought the shield sound was kind of comical. It's comical, but it, it sounds it has it when it hits a wall, it has that bonk that I expect. Right. From something like a Captain America shield. And I'm sorry if we're not paying full attention to the cutscenes, but like I think neither of us are that invested in this MCU story because we've, you know, seen the movies and it's a similar thing. Yeah. That's cool. You can do finishers from like across the map. I don't have a lot of faith in it to be honest, which I I hate to say, because I'm not giving the game a fair shot. All right, but... that, that hit was not very satisfying. Yeah, that's cool. I do like in this intro sequence, they're swapping between characters. So like you get a feel for each one. That's cool. I like that. Yeah. Press L1 R1 to activate Brooklyn Brawler. Kratos Rage Mode. <laughs> okay, nope. It's just a slam into the ground. Why is it called Brooklyn Brawler? Oh, QTE sequence while fighting Taskmaster. Boo! Boo! Okay, maybe it's not quite... Oh, no, it is a QTE. Never mind. I like Kamala's design. I'm just so... I need to play her to see if I'm gonna like her. Well, again, I'm just caught up with, like, doesn't she basically have, like, Mr. Fantastic's power? Yes, she not... does. It's, it's just weird. You know what I mean? Now that is an entrance. Come on. Taskmaster. This is so... Uh, Black Widow's section is just QTE against Taskmaster, and I'm not for it. See, the, the, it's just weird that the Spider-Man game has already done a lot of stuff with uh, some of these characters. Mm -hmm. So, I just have this thing of, like, Taskmaster here just looks less cool than he does in Spider-Man. Yeah. Magic... It was like a tie-in with like this was in the same universe as the Spider-Man. I mean, they can't do that because it, it's a cross-platform game. I think. Yeah, but I don't know. It it, been... I would love that, but it, yeah, I doubt. Maybe that was that's what they'll do on the PS4 version. Is like something oh, along those lines. Oh, probably. Very between light. And... Okay. And there's just so much going on in this PT. This is like visual vomit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit. Well, it would probably be fine if not for the goddamn motion blur so much. Uh, yeah, I just, it, it's applying to the background and the foreground, which is such a weird decision. It's like I'm seeing Taskmaster and uh, Black Widow blurring as they're moving, which is just it doesn't look good. Yeah. I like Laura Bailey. I I don't know if I like her as Black Widow, to be honest. Yeah. She's not doing it for me right now. Yeah, I think she doesn't... She sounds very Laura Bailey. And I think Laura Bailey is a fantastic VA. Mm -hmm. But this doesn't... It, it's not what I would personally have fit to Black Widow. Sure. It's like, the weird thing is, uh, I don't know if you know this, Laura Bailey and a bunch of other voice actors that I presume are going to be in this game at some point are in a D&D &D game together, right? They were I in think Critical I've seen Role. it before, yeah. Yeah. There's a, another voice actor in, on that show called Marisha Murray, who I think would have definitely been a better fit for Black Widow. <laughs> it's like one of those weird situations where I'm like, if I imagine a voice to be like the spy, like femme fatale, I, I don't think Laura Bailey would be my first pick. <laughs> Yeah. 
she usually does like more mature characters. Oh my God, this is like the most boring cutscene right? fight I've ever played. He's but literally I just was... going back and forth. Yeah. I will say, it, it leads me to think like, because there's going to be co-op, how cool would it be if you were in like, co-op, like Uncharted style set pieces, but they were co-op and each one of you were in different parts yeah, of yeah, the set piece. Yeah, that'd be piece. awesome. It'd be cool. God, this is so heavily scripted. It doesn't even describe <laughs> what's happening right now. Yeah. Like, I think if you're going to do this kind of sequence, do it like the raft in Spider-Man, where it's you're using your gameplay mechanics, and this crazy stuff is just happening around you. Oh yeah. And the, you're not having control taken away from you. Oh, you can turn invisible as Black Widow. That's kind of cool. This is a little better. Target lock. Also, the the punching sound effects you're using are very like stock and weak. Yeah, That's, the sound design is off, hundred percent. Yeah, Laura Bailey's just not working, man. I'm just gonna melee him. Also, does it just be your taskmaster or something about his voice, too? It just makes him seem really lame. I can just barely hear him. Like, he's super I quiet. I know! Alright, that was a cool attack. I don't know how to dodge these. Okay, it's when the white circle reaches its full size. That's such a weird... He's blocking. You gonna do something, bud? Yeah, it's like her stun batons just sound so stunted. They're like <laughs> yeah, and the pu again the punch sound effects are so like stock oh, generic punching sounds. Oh no, grapple counter. Okay. Do counter attacks with blue or yellow indicators. Oh my god. After the after the, the sequence it goes into this like weird 2D cutscene that's like not even yeah, fully I've seen animated. The 2D cutscene. What is this? I wonder if they're like saving an actual cutscene for the real game? No. I've never heard if of what? Because, like, if this was more of a budget title, I would understand, but this is like a big. This is a triple A. What the heck? And it has, like, Just full voice fight. acting? What? This fight is weird. Yeah, I was not. So, where has your investigation left you? Did he just throw Cap's shield at me? Is that, did he just I'm do that? Talking. Well, he's Taskmaster, so he like learns from... Yeah, but he doesn't enemies. have a... Sh he didn't... Like, his shield wasn't on his arm when he did it, so it looked like something just evaporated out of thin air. Oh. And flew in a direction. Oh, also, when you watch this cutscene... Um, I'm gonna give you one guess as to who the villain is in this cutscene. Oh, I know who it is already. <laughs> it's it's the, gonna be the, the aim guy. It's gonna be the aim guy, yeah. Of course it is. That's the plot of every superhero movie ever. God. It's like weird Tony Stark-like person huh? causes. Wait, so we're fighting? So we're fighting robots now? Seems like the story so far. The day their heroes failed them. What's happening here? Terrigan Mist is a real name? <laughs> what? Damn it, they played us. Steve, can you hear me? Get the hell out of there! Uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Kamala's hair just didn't appear on her head. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> she just didn't have any hair. Oh my god. I, it's on stream too. I have a video of it. Yes. She yes. Just had no hair. Okay. So it launches you right into another level. Can I we, was so confused. Can I we, thought they were showing me like a different character, and then it's like Kamala was just there on the ground and her hair wasn't there. So it, it launches you right into another uh, level right after the cutscene. Can we leave and, and join in this one, or is this going to be another solo? I have no clue. Our beloved Captain America was killed. This is such a weird way to tell a story. I'm so not I'm, down. Yeah. I mean, this 2D stuff is really good looking. It's just not. If it was again, if it was a more budget title, I would understand. If this was but... if this was Ultimate Alliance, I would get this. With no known cure, the disease has spread across the country, and while both Shield and the Avengers promise. But like this is a triple A game that's been in development for years that Crystal Dynamics is doing. I don't know. I am heroes transformed San Francisco into an infectious gas filled quarantine. God. The forest section you go into, it's so blurry. Many still lay dormant, unidentified. So I ask you again, Dr. Banner, do the Avengers pose a danger? But it's like this slow walk sequence, and you're just gliding across the ground. Their activities outlawed, the once mighty heroes disbanded. But out of tragedy is born hope. After the government liquidation of Stark Industries, Dr. George Tarleton, himself a victim of A-Day and founder oh, of Advanced Idea Mechanics, thinks science is the solution to our nation. This is problems. literally like the plot of Spider-Man. <laughs> not, not the game, like the Sam Raimi movies. Like, it's Oscorp going bad. <laughs> I love how they're, the HUD UI settings, there's one setting. It's also just X-Men. It's literally, we'll find a cure for the inhuman disease. That's X-Men. The story so far, what? Or even, no, you know what? You know what it reminds me of even more, Ryan? It reminds me of uh, Infamous One. Tony stashed most of his stuff here when the stuff gets reminder. And if anyone knows where Tony is, it's Jeremy. Oh, yeah, the, the story so far. That was... Secret entrance. This is so weird. I hope that story so far thing is just for the demo. Where did he come from? Okay. Game. Okay. So I got some questions. I just spawned in as as Bruce, right? He's okay. I'm assuming a one more. way hallway. How did I'm he assuming, get here? I'm assuming there's more that they're not showing us in the demo. There has to be, right? That can't be how the real game does the story. I, dude, dude. If it is, if that, that is, is very I'm, concerning. I am terrified. Nothing. Also, this. Do you look? Can you see how blurry the foliage is? Oh yeah. Do you see this? It's awful. Holy! Wow. Uh. Oh, I oh. Dude, I the had game some keeps con Not some far taking away control poppin'? away from L me. Literally right next to my head. Hey, Bruce? We're having some frame rate problems here. On performance mode, we're having. Oh, this. Problems. Oh, this like bit where you're just walking around slowly feels terrible. We're literally just walking and we're having frame rate problems. What's going on? Do you see how he's just gliding across the ground too? He's not even yeah. like. Holy crap! This is very concerning. Here, let me help. So this game can't decide what it wants to be. It can't decide if it wants to be a live service game or a like narrative. Or even like this is so unreal. You, it's like there's not even any open space. Cause like it has these like uncharted style dialogue sequences and like the crazy set pieces, or it just wants to be like a simple like beat 'em up. It can't decide between the two of those either. Dude, why is it having so many frame rate problems here? This is having like triple the amount of frame rate issues as the city was. Finally. This means and we're doing nothing. There is nothing going on. As well as it should. Oh, he's been shot. Here, wait, can we join on each other's game now? Or do no we have clue. to. Okay, I do like how his like heavy attack is he like smashes oh, the ground and then into picks a quick it up. Event. I do like how his his heavy attack is he smashes the ground, picks it up, and then throws it. That's kinda cute. I I like that. I feel like this just 
the design of this just feels so 2012. It feels dated. Yeah, it just feels. This feels yeah. like a AAA game from 2012. <laughs> you know what it feels like? It feels like when like Marvel movie like movie tie-ins were a big thing, and they were just these like super generic like beat 'em ups. That's what this yeah. feels like. Except with a budget. This is so weird. Honestly, like, all right, think about it this way. What if this was supposed to be a Marvel tie-in game and then they change it to be something more original last minute and that's why the character designs look just off? I don't because know. Because it was supposed to be a tie-in game. Wouldn't that make some sense, though? I mean, it would, but they would have had to have changed the entire story, right? No, because they could have had it be their own, like, original story and they just had to change the character designs and not get the likenesses of the actors for legal purposes or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that would have been super limiting. Like, I don't think they could have done the five-year time skip if this was a, like, licensed story. It just feels so... so floaty. Hulk is not satisfying to play at all. He's probably... See, that's the thing. I want to say he's my worst, but we barely had enough time to really mess around with Natasha. So, like... Who knows if Natasha is oh, so actually weird, that good? There's a weird effect on the screen for a second that only that didn't cover part of the bottom. Chad, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I went in. I went in thinking like maybe I'll like it more than others. You know, I tend to do that a lot. Where I just I try and like defend games that people don't like. But like, I know about this chief. This is the camera's weird. Yep. It's just me. Here's the camera's doing like it's having the ghost of Tsushima problem, right? But it's it's happening more consistently oh. here. Oh man, okay. the screen shake too. Oh, that's super aggressive. It's like su super aggressive screen shake with the motion blur makes me sick. Dude, this is not. Who thinks this is fun? Huh? I'm like, who think? I was doing the bit where you just have to like keep throwing rocks at a dude in the air. Yeah. And I'm like, who? Yeah. Who enjoys this? It feels weird because it's like we're still kind of in a tutorial sequence. Yeah, like I don't. Like, wasn't that what the last mission was for? I don't understand what the gameplay mechanics are yet because the game hasn't really tutorialized anything properly. It's taught me that it I also, can I can dodge. I can well, use it my also trigger really, to do something. It also really hasn't given you the opportunity to like uh, do something on your own. You know what I mean? Like, it hasn't given you the opportunity to, like, test these things for yourself. It's very... Yeah, like, handful. it's not it's not giving me the chance to learn the game, because it's just back and forthing me between quick time events. Oh, that's a bug. It's stopping you every 30 I, seconds. Hulk is literally just, like, standing in the middle of a piece of floating wreckage. That's very... That's the second bug we run... Like, major visual bug we run into in three minutes. Hey, can I tell you something that, that visually is kind of funny? Imagine imagine Troy Baker trying to do like the Hulk lines and he's just screaming into the microphone. I love that idea. <laughs> <laughs> this is just... They even have like, holy crap, they even have that like cheap 2012 breakable crates thing with yeah, like power ups in it. They do. Oh, and like wow. red orbs came out. Wow. Oh, the camera's so bad. Yeah. I don't know if it's because it's the camera just keeps not going where I'm aiming the camera at. Like it, it'll suddenly turn around for random reasons. You're you're more suggesting where the camera should go rather than telling it. You know what I mean? Well, it's like you're telling it where to go, but then the game is like, but I want it here, and does it? That's what I'm saying. You're you're you're. You're making a, a polite suggestion of where you think the camera should go, and the camera's either going to say, like... Yeah, but the issue right, I'm having maybe. is the camera goes there, and then it goes back. Right? <laughs> like, it's going well, there, but then it immediately turns around. I'm that it doesn't like your suggestion. I'm trying to make my analogy work, okay? Your, your analogy doesn't work. It's close, but yeah, it doesn't it does. quite. Sh shut up. 
doesn't look temporary. <laughs> Ah, uh, jumping! Like, why can Hulk only climb specific circumstances, like surfaces? We I mean, but that's, that's so like, uh, you know, that's like an Uncharted thing. Yeah, that's but like Hulk games, Ultimate whatever. Destruction in 2000 did that correctly. <laughs> <laughs> like, we already have games with Hulk in them that do that better. Why are there these breakable crates in the forest? What's going on? I'm so confused. I need my crate lore. I also love how every single combat sequence starts with you have to hold triangle. I think That's every so single disgusting. one has started like that so far. Units, resource. Okay. Let's go on. Okay, so, so they have given me a slightly wider open combat space with some like explosive props and stuff, which just makes things a little bit more interesting. It's also weird, like, Kamala has no personality so far, aside from I'm just cracking jokes like every other superhero character ever. Cracking wise, yeah. She's she's acting like Spider-Man, which is weird. That's what I'm saying, is that, like, she doesn't really have a personality yet, and she just has, like, Mr. Fanta- or, uh, yeah, Mr. Fantastic's powers. It's just weird, like, I don't- I don't know. It's a- it's a weak character to have as, like, your main character, right? I mean, That's I'm I'm, I'm open to her changing my mind, but yeah, but so far I just have no excitement to play as her. Also, dodging as Hulk, he like barely moves an inch, at least from. Hulk like, responds with calm breaths. Hulk <laughs> interrupts Kamala and heads into action. So this wider space is more fun because, like, as you're punching things, there's there's like props that are being flung that are being flung around and stuff, and it makes it more like visually entertaining. Uh, well, it would be if there was so much in. motion blur. Okay, bone shaker's ready. I don't know what bone shaker is. They've got guards all over the place. All right. Oh, well, I just idea. did something. What's going on? Bone shaker armor. This feels oddly like Warframe, but worse. Yeah, I was gonna say, I I hope it's worse because if this is Warframe's combat, no, because like it has the, the abilities that are giving me like stat boosts on my screen, but the, oh my god, the camera is just oh, it's no. it's shaking a lot too. This there's is... so much shake. There's so much blur. Here's the thing. I'm thinking to myself, okay, the motion blur and the shake is bad. Let's let's imagine for a second I'm playing on PC and let's hope to God you can turn the motion blur off on PC. Would I be able to stand this? Like if I was playing with you and Brett, maybe we cracked open a couple beers or something, and we were just playing this without the motion. I mean, I would probably have sixty fun, frames per second. But yeah, like, I would not spend sixty dollars. Yeah, it. that that's my concern, and especially with the live service thing. Like I feel like they're taking. A huge reward incentive away from the player. Like I, I am just, mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on anymore. This combat's just also, not clicking. It's just not. Yeah. There's no lock on either, which I'm not. Yeah, a there fan is. Of. Press your there is. Yeah, press your thumbstick in. Oh, it doesn't shit. work particularly well. <laughs> Alright, I'm dead. <laughs> and why is the loading screen just Kamala with her big fists looking like? See, all right, l l okay, Ryan, let's think about this for a second. This is a, a beat em up, like a like a very simplistic arcade Why is beat em up Cap game. Now? It's produced by Square Enix. Why the heck is this not made by Platinum? Platinum's got too Why? many things going on. Platinum is making know. like eight games right now. Okay, okay, but like, but like, but like, you have this concept for a a a, a ha like a beat em up game set in the Avengers universe. Why did they give it to Crystal Dynamics? Like, do they? I don't. Like, I think their lack. I, I, from what I understand, I mean, they haven't done a lot. Part of it. I know, but like Crystal Dynamics, they they've they've been working on Tomb Raider for the longest time. I, I'm not uh, like super familiar with what else they've done, but I feel like I, I can see the Tomb Raider design too here. Like, there is stuff in this that feels like it belongs in a Tomb Raider game and not in. A but weird kinda, live service Avengers game. You can also kind of tell that they haven't made a game like this before. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, they're using their designs from Tomb Raider. Okay, I'm get. Hold on, I gotta pay attention now. I'm getting into the gear stuff here. Hold on. Camp. 
hold square, tower boost, a highlighted gear. Okay. I'm literally doing nothing with these guys. Oh, yep. Yep, you can, uh... <laughs> you can... You can power boost Hulk's spine, which is just a sentence I never thought I would say. All right. <laughs> Throwing rocks is just not that great. Okay. Alright. Like, why do they have these guys in, like, weird purple armor? That's my question. Like, what is the, the aesthetic decision behind this? It, it's not intimidating, first of all. I think. It's very, like... No, it looks like something a player would do, right? Like, it looks like something... <laughs> It looks like it, it looks like honestly, it looks like a really like rare Fortnite skin or something. Yeah. And like you look at players that are wearing the super flamboyant stuff and you're like, okay, they've either played for thousands of hours or they've paid with their mom's credit card or something like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Hulk just feels like he feels like his fists are wet noodles. Like if I yeah. hit someone as Hulk, they should be flying across the room. Or they should have justifiable logic as to why they aren't. And right now, these are mostly like human-sized enemies. Also, oh, that's another visual bug, I think. This, like, like this is a this is a difficult thing to to like fix. I understand, but like, we're I'm inside of a factory right now, and whenever he like punches the, the ground, rocks come out. I'll keep looking. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. Like that's the kind of thing in a triple A game where you would you would expect a little. Maybe like the texture, like, like control did it fine. Control yeah. just has it adjust depending on the surfaces you're at. Yeah. And they didn't even. I don't. Was control's budget probably not the same as this, or at least they're not being backed by as nearly as big of a publisher. Yeah, I, I know control was expensive. It is. It's definitely an expensive game. All right, destroy the game. Ah, oh, the the. Like, the visual aspect of this factory with all the lights everywhere, it looks bad, too. Ugh, it looks kind of gross. This really know. feels like an old Ultimate Alliance game. Like, the more or, I play, the more I'm getting that vibe. Or, kind of like what I said, uh, like, like a Marvel tie-in game. Yeah. From, like... 2010, 2011. This feels like the sequence of like weird Spider-Man games that came out for a while. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Power boost yeah, yeah. gear items and artifacts to quickly increase power level and attribute. Power boosting oh, requires okay. rare resources. Okay. That his defense gear is his ribs. Um. <laughs> Also, I love these loading screens, or they're just like slow mo. Like, also, why is the menu reels. the menu is very framey? Framey? Like the frame rate is all over the place in the menu. See, like you can notice the frame rate more than I can because you're trying to play at sixty. This is just locked between. No, but like this isn't. I don't even feel not. like this is thirty. This is. It looks like my circle is teleporting across the screen. Like if you look at the Twitch stream, you'll probably see what I mean. It's this. Is I just, had to turn it off because it was the internet was. Yeah, yeah it's having weird. Too much of a. This just feels off. Like they're all grids. Why is it? Why is it a mouse cursor? This is this easily could be navigated with just a controller moving across the screen. Reassemble campaign. So many mission. Ugh. I'm getting like a headache just thinking about what the progression of this game is gonna look like. I'm getting a headache just with all the motion blur and shit, honestly. Actually, yeah, the headache was probably induced by the motion blur and it's getting <laughs> worse because of the rest of the game. <laughs> oh, this is also still like what we're doing right now is so disconnected from everything that just happened in the story. Yep. That they've completely lost. We literally had a text box. Me. We literally had a text box explaining what we're doing here. And I'm just like, I don't. This is such a weird thing. Like, I'm, I would probably enjoy this more when I get to, like, the actual, like, not live service parts, but the, the missions that you can just, like, repeat, and the stuff you can keep doing, the stuff that's more open. 
Also, I want it. I want us to be able to try a mission together because again, that would just automatically. Oh, because they said they have war zones fun. in the beta, and the war zone zones from the the like war table they did sound really cool. They seem like right up my alley. Because they're like large open spaces where you're doing your thing, you're going on missions, you know. <laughs> oh, we just glitched Hulk into a wall. This reminds me, you know, there was a an Avengers like co-op game in development for a while. It was like a first person game. And it, it was all yeah, it was all in first person. You could pick from a ton of different heroes. It had something to do with the scrolls, and they had this really cool uh, thing in combat where you could combine different heroes attacks together to create these like crazy like hero combos. I don't know if you can do that here, but it looked really cool. I mean you can do that in Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Yeah. It's like a, an Ultimate Alliance gimmick, is hero combo chaining. Like, when, even when they did that stuff in the movies, it was cool. It's like when, when like, uh, Iron Man used his Unibeam, and then Captain America was, like, reflecting it around with his shield. Yeah, so like, that's cool. very Avengers. It's so cool. It's kind of like what they, uh, did you ever play Batman Arkham Knight? Yeah, yeah, I played all the Arkham games. I haven't finished yeah, all of them, but I've played all of them. It's uh, did you did you get to the part in in Arkham Knight where you could like combo attacks with Robin, like combo no, takedowns? No, I definitely didn't get that far. It was so cool because like basically you'd be playing as Batman and Robin, you could switch perspectives, and you could like do this combo takedown where you would just okay. Take down I'm gonna use Thunderclap here, and it better make the entire room explode. It did <laughs> not make the entire room explode. I'm really disappointed. <laughs> I was like, I'm standing around all this stuff that looks breakable. If I thunderclap this Hulk, it's gotta break. And also, none okay, of so it broke. Your your meter at the top below your health bar. How, how do you? That's Unspent. like an ultimate attack, Spent. right? How do you? How do you? Uh, Probably just hitting shaker. things, right? You attack, attack, interrupt enemy attacks. Press. What's the wait? What's the green bar at the top, Ryan? I don't know. I'm in the menus. I'm looking at. Rage intrinsic oh, abilities, attacking enemies and receiving damage reveals an intrinsic rage meter. Oh, it's your rage meter. When rage is active, defensive strength is increased and all how attacks do you, inflict damage. How, how do you activate it? Uh, hold right trigger. Attack your rage whenever the intrinsic meter under the willpower bar has a visible green charge. Activate rage just before an enemy attacks to connect to parry. Okay. Meteor range power attack. Okay, monster slight dodge attack. Can I say one thing? I, I want to praise one thing that. here. The level of like environmental destruction that's going on in this factory sequence is actually pretty cool. Yeah, but like I did that with my thunderclap. I was literally in a room full of breakable objects and nothing broke. It it there's a lot of like, see, I want to say it's a good thing because there's a lot of just like environmental destruction going on as you're fighting, which makes you feel more like hulk but because there's so many like bad visual effects okay. going on so what's weird now just... is i can break all of this stuff if i hit it so why didn't it break with a thunderclap what that is so weird like hulk's thunderclap ultimate ability should make an entire room explode like, if you use it in, in ultimate destruction you can literally explode like a city block it's crazy it's super fun but do you like there's just something about like the visual like palette of this factory i it just looks bad it's like it's like piss yellow almost yeah it, it it's gross <laughs> it looks gross it's like someone... it's like the enemy's color is is piss yellow which is such a bad decision you know that you, you know that green filter that they put on like the matrix movies it feels like that but way overdone Dude, this looks like the uh, this factory scene in spider-man where where uh harry osborne goes inside to like turn into green goblin for the first time and everything <laughs> yeah. looks super green yeah. and, and gross looking yeah yeah can i please there we go we did something yeah, I mean, I'm comparing it to uh, uh, Tsushima again. It feels like when the camera isn't fucking you up, it feels that at like at all times you know what's going on in combat and you know what enemies are like doing, where they're going. I don't get that sense here. I'm getting very No, absolutely lost. not. Yeah, this feels like it, it has the same camera problems as Tsushima sometimes has, but all the time. Like even, even yeah. when I'm locking on here, it's not working particularly well.
It's like I have no sense of, of like where I am spatially and what enemies are doing, and so I'm just getting hit constantly. It also might be a thing that like, they're starting with Hulk. Hulk is not the kind of character you should have in enclosed environments. But see, that's the thing. I could see that being a, a great sequence where like you're letting a, a bull let loose in a china shop, you know? Yeah, like, but this is not that. They're not doing a good job of it at all. Also, these crates around me are just kind of exploding, and I haven't done anything to them, which is kind of funny. But, like, it, that should be a fun sequence, just having a Hulk go fucking crazy in, like, a small enclosed space. What a great idea. It it feels like crap, you know? Yeah. I think it's, it's literally because everything takes so many hits to kill. Yeah. And Hulk should yeah. be, like, one-shotting stuff left and right. He should... Dude, he should be able to, like, do a little flick with his fingers and their head pops off. Especially because he's a robot. Yeah. Like, even the, the dudes, I'm just, I'm hitting a dude, it took, it takes four hits, full power from Hulk, to knock one human enemy down. That like, is wrong, the, that's bad. Here's, here's the thing, with an Avengers game, I think it's the case of, like, you need to have a lot of really weak enemies just attacking you at all yeah, times. Yeah, but, like, the thing is, if I was playing Cap, I could buy this, right? Right. Like, this would but feel, it, this level of, of time to kill would feel fine on Cap and, like, Black Widow. In a Hulk sequence, you want, like, a bunch of people just running at you, and you're just tearing through all of them. Like a Dynasty Warriors game, you know? Yeah, yeah. But even with Cap, like, because, like, a lot of these are robots. I would say, like, if you're having human characters, have them be more, like, skilled individually. But if you're fighting robots, just have a bunch of them just attack you all at once. Yeah, and then you just, know? like, crush the horde, you know? And then, and then, like, robot enemies and human enemies would feel more distinct from one another. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not getting a sense of, like, the finer, you know, uh, details of combat. I'm also finding it very I'm strange just... they're making us do this mission after the other mission. I wonder yeah. if it's because they wanted to introduce gear as a concept. But, but it's not really, like, a, a big part of this level. This is more just... Like, I got a, I got a skill point. It's not really doing anything for me. Okay, so rage like refills my health too. Good thing. Oh, yeah, I can throw rocks. Forgot about that. Dude, why am I pulling up concrete rocks from a factory? That's what I was saying earlier. It, it, it's it, it's strange. And again, it's like, I'm getting hit from all these places that I, I'm not aware of because I'm not... Spatially, I'm not aware of what's going on right now. And that's probably because of all, like, the visual effects that are going on. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's really hard to keep track of what's going on. Like, as many problems as I have with Tsushima's combat... Oh, there's some real frame rate stuff going on. When it's when it's firing on all cylinders, it's great. you know where all the enemies are. But it has You know where to all the enemies are. Th this is just, like, not doing that. Yeah. I also have no clue where enemies are coming from. Yeah. Like, I'm I, getting, I don't know where they're spawning. I'm getting hits and just randomly, like, it just... Hulk. I need you to destroy this lab. Smash! Okay, Kamala's on the verge of tears, and I have no idea why. Yeah, she was just like, Hulk, you have to smash. Tarleton, you know you saw the truth, Banner. You were the only one. Yeah, but then why are you and giant robots trying to kill people? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think this dude... They want a cure, but you're literally shooting me. I wish it didn't ha I haven't have hit you yet. I haven't hit you yet. And he's like, I wish it didn't have to come to this. But he's been in an unhittable state the entire time, so I've done nothing aggressive towards him. <laughs> this feels so weird. <laughs> it's like, there are elements this here that, that I can see being good. This one-on-one -on -one fight with a robot is better than, like, the mods we were fighting before. Oh, absolutely, because it feels like he's taking an appropriate amount of hits. Yeah. Like when and I see also, an exo it's loader, visually like, less yeah, messy. Take hits. Ooh, and and if you use your your like stranglehold ability, you have a special animation for it. Who's Tarleton? Is that the the aim guy from the cutscene? I have no clue. I thought he was a dude in the robot suit. 
But I don't think that robot suit was a suit, I think it was just a robot. Oh, wow. All right, now my frame rate is tanking. Holy... Yeah, it's having some real trouble here. Yeah, if I do the, if I do the Hulk power smash, the entire screen is having issues keeping up. Oh, man, and when there's this many enemies and there's a lot of screen shake... Oh, uh, uh. oh my god. It's gonna look, my abilities aren't breaking things. I have to like punch the explosives if I want them to explode. I can't use like the thunderclap or the strangle dash or whatever it's called. So many minor minor things are really bothering me. That's yeah. what's happening right now. In the frame rate, the frame rate, the performance is the killer here. It's the motion blur, I think. There's is the no way they, the most. but it's also the frame rate. The frame rate is just so inconsistent. Yeah. And Again, I think on too. PC a lot of these issues. Assuming you can turn the motion blur off on PC. I doubt it. I feel like this is one of those games that's going to be unoptimized. Uh. Like if it's having this many issues on consoles, I don't see it being optimized well for PC. So, oh, we just took a big punch to the head. It's like the audio is constantly getting like mute. What's going on? I'm not getting quite as many bugs as you are, but... I don't think the audio thing is a bug. I think that's just like the audio design. Oh, okay. Because like certain effects are like dampening the audio. But it's unclear as to what those effects are, so I'm just like... Oh man! The facial animations are so janky. Oh, but I just got like two shot from something. Oh. Because I literally have no clue what is happening. Oh my god. All right. There's a chase scene or like a running scene after that fight that you're in. The. Oh, the camera shake. Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, my big question now is like, did they play this? Did they play the demo and really say this is the best slice of content to get people excited for the game? Oh, you can you can play as Kamala now. Oh god, the frame rate is so like, bad. I don't like how there's so much like jumping around and platforming, and it all feels so like it's bad automated and like not free uh, free forming at all you know what i mean yeah it's like we know there like, can be good superhero games because like the all the batman games are fantastic spider-man is yeah. great i even liked uh batman or uh origins no one no one yeah, likes it origins. plays well it plays well yeah it doesn't have these camera issues of like yeah. <laughs> just being like what is that the camera literally just, I, I wasn't locked on specifically because I wanted to keep an eye on the enemy shooting at me. And then it changed my camera to point away, and then I just got shot, and I'm like... <sighs> Does the game understand why this is an issue? I don't think so. And like, say what you want about, because like, I know a lot of people don't like, um you know, Uncharted's platforming, but at least you have way more agency, especially in 4, where you can climb and walk around. Well, this Uncharted's like platforming is almost like a puzzle, right? It's designed that way. This doesn't yeah. feel like it's meant to be that way. I, this feels like they didn't know how to make it better. Where the heck am I going? Are you playing as Kamala at the moment? No, I'm, I have to redo that entire section because I died at the end. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, jeez. Because <laughs> something like two shot me and I had no way to react to it. And uh, the gear you get isn't even cosmetic. You get separate cosmetics, but then the gear doesn't make any cosmetic changes. I think they said it's supposed to. At least in one of the war tables, they were like, you've got gear that's different. I have to. Different functionally, but not visually, I think. Yeah, but like they showed 
cosmetics because like I literally, changing. I just, I just put on like some ranged gear for for Kamala, and her suit hasn't changed or her outfit hasn't changed at all. So I think to make your character look different, okay, you have this is to the get... jankiest running scene I think I've ever seen. In the game. Oh, and the camera shake is. This so is the bad. jankiest thing I have ever seen. Oh my god. There's it's zero so weight. His bad. footsteps still don't make any noise. Hulk? Hulk? Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. Okay. I figured it out. I know what the issue is. You know no what the way. issue is? The archive. This what? explains everything. It's a bill from January. This has to be the oh, it's a bill from January. <laughs> ah, it fixes everything! See, Kamala immediately feels better to control. Yep. I agreed. Although, again, these platforming bits are not... They're not particularly fun. fun, but she... Her movement feels snappier. Imagine this! You're playing an Avengers game, and Hulk is not fun to play. I'm s like, I'm sorry. Just that right there. You, you failed. Right, the switches. When you make Hulk not fun. Right, the switches. Get on it, Kamala. What, what does that mean? What switches? Oh, it took me a while to figure out what the heck she was talking about. Is this it? Is, I swear, if this is it, wow. That just looks like a piece of the environment. That is... No, I got so confused! I got so confused! Because normally when you want to guide people towards something, you have like a light source or something, right? There's there's the green there, but there's a lot of other lights going. Yeah, there's like tons of other... It looks like a piece of the environment. It's like the thing next to it's got some green lights on it. Yeah. Yeah, Kamala instantly, the time to kill makes a lot more sense. Because she's not the Hulk. She flows better than Hulk does. Yeah, her combos kind of piece together, right? Flip the switches. Wait, I flipped the switch. What, what else do you want me to do? Polymorph increased damage. And now she's, she's big? I don't know why she has a scarf coming out of her bag, but I'm kind of for it. It looks cool. It's a poncho. <gasps> <laughs> Sort of like stuff like the motion blur is so aggressive. Yeah. This chromatic aberration happening too now. Whenever she especially attacks. when you have a character with her limbs going around like this, it it's, looks weird. Do you think they put Kam wait? Do we know if if the Fantastic Four are going to be in this game? Do you think they put Kamala in here because they couldn't get Mr. Fantastic? I doubt it. I think Kamala was going to be the star anyway. Because even then, I don't, I don't think Fantastic, Mr. Fantastic, would fight this way. I guess not. She has more weight to her attacks than what I would assume. Yeah, she's, she's like brute forcing it. Whereas I think Fantastic would be a lot more like tricky, like gadgety almost. O almost like ranged attacks more as well. Like oh, he would like snipe people with his arm. Last time. What do you want me to do, game? There's literally there's nothing telling me what to do. Time to flip some switches. You said that already. You gotta what stop is, messing around. What is going on? <laughs> this is so confusing. What's happening? Oh, there's another one over here, but you can't you can't see the lights here from the other side of the room because it's facing the other direction. So there's no way for you to know that that's the thing you're meant to interact with. <laughs> yep. Bad environmental design. That's like design 101 too. That's not. Yeah. A challenging concept. No, there needs to be some way to lead you there, like... Oh man, this is... <laughs> yeah. I could enjoy this game if it was $30, probably. $30 with some friends. Yeah, yeah. $30 is like a multiplayer game, but then all the live service stuff comes in and I'm just like... Well, here's and here's the thing. I kept saying like, oh, thirty dollars, crack open a couple of beers. Honestly, I would if I feel like I would have more fun if I had a bit to drink right now. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I feel like that would make things a little easier for me. I five for ability ready. But you see, you didn't. Also, they also these enemies just kind of teleport in. Like how? Yeah, I know. How I'm do they? So confused. All right, like, the high five just high five. Like these. Like, these are just, like, like little flying robots. Just have them come in through vents or something. Alright, so I just used the lock on it. It locked onto an enemy on the other side of the room. <laughs> oh, Jesus. 
Like, and there were three enemies right next to me, so I'm so confused as to why. Oh, there's a chest here. Let's open the chest. Do we get any loot boxes? Some bands. All right, all right. Do I have, like, skill points or anything? No. Uh, I can't... Can I look at her skill tree? Intrinsic abilities, Polly. All right. Oh, the room you go into afterwards is a bunch of, like, references. Is this, is this all the cosmetics? Like, it's just disappointing. Preview super famous. It doesn't look very good. Uh... Alright, that's like her double stitched. That's just a black shirt. Okay. That is just a tracksuit. These outfits are not... What, are you looking at Kamala's uh, outfits? Yeah, they're not good. <laughs> the I love best how one you is have just to... the black one. In, under the locked ones, when you... Like, go over it, you can't see it on her, you have to preview it first. Like, it doesn't just show up on her character yeah. model. Which is weird. Higher power gear available, alright. Oh, man, I got a power level... This is like light levels all over again, this doesn't mean anything! <laughs> it's just says <laughs> it's an 8 instead of a 6, what does that mean? Does it mean I do more damage? Does it mean I have more defenses? Could you tell me? <laughs> God, I'm so confused. Dude, this is after coming from something like uh, Path of Exile and Warframe, which are free-to-play games that have similar gearing mechanisms. They very clearly tell you what things do, right? Like, if something Even makes Destiny. me attack better, it t yeah, Destiny does the same thing. Even though the light level is weird, I at least understand how it works. Yeah. Because the game is, is like, the light level is your literal power level. It just makes you better. Like, okay, this does not explain that. Alright, I'm fighting midair, and there is no way for me to get out of midair except. To I think I see. I think I see what they're trying to I'm do with Kamala, where she's a huge like Avengers fan, and so she's very much like anyone who would be playing this game who's a huge comic book nerd. So I kind of like how they're making her this like big Avengers nerd because it allows us to kind of slip into her shoes easier that way. Yeah. And it's a good like representation of who's playing the game. So that's 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 a good idea, I think. It might get really annoying. I could see it getting really annoying. That's but... already, again, just doing an air attack combo because it moves you, just move me off the map for the second time. Because I can't attack this enemy without like, jumping to attack them. Because, like, right now, I'm walking through, I'm looking for Jarvis, and I'm looking at a bunch of, like, Avengers memorabilia, and this is, like, this is all fan service -y type stuff. Which is, which is fine. Like, that's an okay way. Like, here's Cap's old shield design, and, like... It's a nice way to, like, break up, you know, the pacing a little bit. It's... Kamala, what are we doing? All three switches are on? Oh, the door's open. You gotta go back to the door, yeah. <laughs> it's just, it, it, there's nothing there to... Okay, well, it didn't see that there was a thing for, there for me to grapple to. Again, that is stunning. <laughs> Excuse me? Wait, you can collect you can collect comics. Can you read the the full comic? I highly this. doubt it. Maybe no, it just tells you what you can't even. In this super cool all right, all right. Garfield Go, the Garfield Pokemon Go ripoff, at least um, allows you to read the Garfield comic. Why? You, you should open the stream. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Oh God! Avengers, what did you do? Oh no! <laughs> and just what did you do? <laughs> oh no! Kamala, uh, no! It's not even doing it when I go out! <laughs> Kamala gone too soon! <laughs> She's not even, it's not, it's not fixing itself! If I go through this way? Nope! <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm, I don't care. Oh. I know that's Cap Shield. Oh, Jesus. But again, like, you know, fan servicey, whatever. And this, it's, it's a, it's a Marvel game. It's gonna be in there. Whatever. No, I like the fan service stuff. I just, I really would like to get to the part of the game that is not this. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah.
the, like, you actual... can definitely tell like this won't be a co-op mission ever because how would this work no, as a co-op mission? This Marvel 49 nameplate. All right. I'm holding it. You got to push. You got to push with the analog stick. I did Forward. that the first time and it did nothing. <laughs> Well, then I can't help you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is so many bugs. All right. Oh, but, but, but Brian, it's a, it's a beta. They'll fix it. Can I say, too, like, betas don't typically look like this, like this polished. Especially betas that have, like, a fully functioning store and everything. God, she's glitching. Like, like, am I wrong? Am I wrong in saying that? Like, betas should not look this good. No, ba I mean, betas this are betas, right? This is not a beta. No, it, no. If this you're looks actually too... making a game, this is not what a beta is. I mean, here's the thing. Yeah, it's buggy, but in terms of, like, the visuals, it's way too polished for a beta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you shouldn't even have final, like, you know, textures and, and sound I mean, you might have final textures and you might have final sounds, but, like, the lighting like, animations? Still be working on. Animations? Animations? He kept this. I mean, it does depend on the company because, like, some companies will probably do that stuff very early on. Like, Horizon, I know Horizon had final animations in like the first thing, and then they worked on textures and, and models after that. But altogether, it should not look this good for a beta. Yeah, I mean, if it didn't look this good, there would be some major concerns considering the game is out next month. Right. This is our already super concerning. Like, the stuff I've seen is, is still very concerning. I think I have to look at all of this. Come back for all this someday? Okay, yeah, the archives, I get it. Kamala. There is no way for me to oh, I can move faster with that. Good. Why display pyrite when you can afford the real thing? <clears throat> I should keep looking. Okay, let's uh I think that's Oh wow. Really looked at everything. Okay, so so I'm in a boss fight with Abomination and he has one of those things where he like hits the ground and then the shockwave is supposed to hit you so you're supposed to jump it, but you can barely see the shockwave because it's like a little puff of smoke. So it's really hard to see. What am I supposed to be looking for in here? Jarvis. Hello? <laughs> Game please work. There's a there's a wall with like cardboard leaned up against it and you're supposed to like uncover the cardboard or whatever. Oh my god. <laughs> oh look, it's a guitar. To Tony. I know I shouldn't be freaking out right now, but I'm freaking out. Tony Stark's guitar. I mean, this big, like, Avenger symbol on the ground has me think that's where I would go. Oh, I see the the big Stark Industries paper with the light on the floor? Why is that light on the floor? Is that meant to be their way of signifying this is important? Because it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Fucking screen shake. I can't take it. Fucking sharp, guy. small computer drive okay that's not you should never in a computer that's on pull a drive out while it's running that will corrupt everything on that drive gotta find Hulk and get out of here <clears throat> what you got there cricket why don't you let me have that why does abomination want it I don't think so what would his motivation be for wanting that? Because boss fight. Why is he here? <laughs> boss fight, Ryan! <laughs> what is Duh. the combination doing here? All units, find them. Is he working with the aim? I think so, because he just said all units find him. What? Why would aim be working with abomination? I have so many questions. 
and none of them have answers. That would be good. Okay, well that ability did not work the way it works every other time I've used it. God damn! <laughs> okay, there's actually a really great... <laughs> when you when you finish the fight against Abomination, there's actually a great ending... <laughs> Okay, that was actually awesome. <laughs> the ending cutscene of the Abomination fight was the best part of the fight. <laughs> that was actually super cool. <laughs> Fuck, I think he just killed Abomination. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yeah, Kamala's not uh, grabbing me as a character. Okay, let's. What was the point of the big electric blocks? I have no clue what any character involved in this is motivation. Is Ryan, excuse me, excuse me. I'm listening. I'm, I'm watching a cutscene. Please, please. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The story in this is so engrossing. Please, I, I need to. Kamala's watching a pre-recorded video and she's talking at the video like they can hear. Please, please, just let me enjoy. Oh, so she's doing the like 2000s teen drama stereotype of <laughs> looking at a video and talking to it. Narrating your actions. Okay, well, so I think that's supposed to be like a dazed effect, but it's not happening. And so I just get this like little slight gray filter over my camera. And Excuse me, Ryan, bottom. Ryan, please respect the cutscene, please. Come on. Right. I'm not respecting the cutscene at all. Cutscene etiquette, please. Okay, we punched him. We slammed him. An energy pillar is activated. An energy pillar is activated. I don't know what that means. You've, there's nothing in here to lead me to believe I can do anything with those. God, I do think I have a bit of a headache just from playing. Oh. It, I think it's the motion blur is legitimately like I, I don't ever get motion sick in games like even VR stuff but here it is legitimately like making me slightly well dizzy. I'm not getting like sick in the stomach it's like a headache yeah it's making it's making my like eyes and head tired also uh, Hulk transforms back into banner and his clothes just magically reappear that's, great. that's concerning Maybe it's like Stark made him some clothes. Why did this thing come out of it? Ryan, have you read our group chat? Uh, oh boy. Laundry, apparently the laundry room just caught fire on the first floor. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is incredible. What a saga. Um, <laughs> this is so. Wow. Hold pants over. This is wild. This game just feels so weird. Dead? Yeah. It feels like it needs another six months. I mean, I feel like it needs more than that. Yeah, but I feel like, like realistically that's the most they could ask for. But I, f I feel like six months bare minimum. This feels weird. I, I think Crystal Dynamics was a, an odd studio choice, first of all. Because they make good games, but they have never made something like this. And this is I a would be, big project to be their first make of something like this. I would be shocked if the whole gear grind thing was their idea. Yeah. I, I just, I look, there's no proof, but this has to be a Square Enix decision. That's got to be like an exact call. Yeah. Because, I mean, Square Enix did this with, a man, with Deus Ex 2. Where they have oh the, yeah uh, the whole like pre-order tier thing. the pre-order tiers and then the in-game shop to buy skill points I'm completely and, like the not game was balanced was not balanced around that I'm completely not paying attention to this cutscene right now never mind I don't it's been seeing dark Terrigen. <laughs> why is it called dark Terrigen? wait did you finish the 
I think uh, it's the abomination fight. fight. Yeah. Isn't that f that last bit where he just fucking crushes him? I thought that was awesome. <laughs> it's cool, but like the the video in this is super low res. Yeah. No, it's unfortunate, but like he, he shoves like the power core or whatever that was right into his face and. Oh, that's great. Congratulations. You've been cured. Impossible. Kamala, you've got stretchy hands. Is that the worst thing to have happened to someone? <laughs> yeah. But why is Bruce suddenly... Okay, he's wearing like a jacket that he took from someone. No, no, Nope, that's watching. a shield. It's a shield on it. Okay, well. And keep watching. He goes right back to Wait, the what? purple button up. Wait, what? Why was he in different clothes? Yep. Wait, See what? what I mean? See what I mean? That makes no sense. Like that has to someone has to have watched this and been like, wait a minute, why does he change outfits in the span of walking? And their voices are so quiet. The mixing is very off. Okay. Okay. Good. This is so concerning. Yeah. On many different levels. What if it's real? What if it's real? What does it matter? Wait, wait. Your hands stretch. Wait. <laughs> Wait, Ryan, hold on. What if it's real? I mean... Oh my god, they're playing Chandelier by Sia! Uh, I mean, that song's a bop, that's, that's a good why? song, but like... Why? It, uh, oh no, it's Cheap Thrills, never mind. It work like that. Oh. Okay, a not as good Sia song, <laughs> never mind. I don't... Looks like it really why does she want to be cured? Long as I I feel the Maybe it's worth it, your hands stretch, that's not... You look normal. Why is a Sia song playing? And why isn't it Carol Carol Benito? <laughs> See, this is the weird thing. So so if you have a character that wants to cure themselves, you need some motivation for them to do so. Yeah. And Kamala, her motivation is that she didn't fit in before she was superheroes. So that she'll fit in if she is not a superhero again, but Here's then the she's thing. just back it's, to square it's not one. Like her powers, it's not like her powers are visual. Like, exactly. She just doesn't like, use them. That's why, that's why Beast and X-Men works, because he's stuck like that, right? Like, he yeah. he doesn't like that he's stuck that way. So his struggle is very believable. But Kamala looks completely normal. <laughs> like, maybe if they had a thing where, like, if she walks, her, her arms and legs, like, morph on their own and she can't control that. Like, that could be kind of interesting. Where she's standing still and she seems fine, but, but she as soon as she moves, normal. no, no. But think about this: as soon as she moves, her her limbs start like Flopping deforming. About. Like that would be interesting. It would be visually interesting. Yeah, but well. I, I don't think that's what's happening here. No, no. It's, that makes too much um, sense. Thank you. This room is really great. Okay. Or it will be. I mean, okay. Look at it. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of, uh, um, good. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, I'll go. Do other things. So, it just feels so weird. Good job, Kamala. That was also, I'm trying to off. select this chest piece, like the defensive gear, no and I can't. Oh, why? The reason he's in a different outfit is because they're in a completely different place. They what? moved. They're there, in there was a no different place. Shot. Exactly. There was, no there was nothing. Shot. Oh, God. Mr. Stark can fix it. And it looks just as run down as the place exactly. they were in. I thought, she's oh like in she's in the Stark God. office. The Stark place, wherever the Starks are. What? That was so confusing. Blackout also, by I, Scorpion plays. Alright, we'll please I, stop. I can't so select anything monetized. from heroic gear or defensive gear. It won't let me go into like the little inventory thing and and, and get it. What the fuck? There we go. Nope. No, Alright, well. This is so strange. Or I could... Are we being too mean? I, I don't think we're being too mean. I don't think we are. I, like, if anything... This game is doing a good job of presenting itself as if it's more complete than I think it is. <laughs> but there are little things. Like, the characters are literally, like, sliding across the ground. Yeah, I noticed that. Like, it was really, it was really bad in that first scene where you're just walking around as Bruce. And you're just sliding across the foliage. And everything just looks blurry. Yeah, like, everything is blurry. The motion oh, blur is insane. Man. Go 
if you're a fa comic found research, sure. I don't really care. Uh, hey, Bruce, Bruce, what's going on? Uh, sorry about. Um, no, don't worry. Any luck with you know who? Uh, good timing. I was just about to take a look. <clears throat> Can I get a hand on the other side there? Are they so like as the story progresses and you get more of the Avengers back and resources or whatever? Are they gonna like fix this place up visually? Because that would be cool. Would that that's I'm down cool. for that. Like you that's start as like this run down little place and you get better as time goes on. Awesome you know that almost sounds like Oasis. <laughs> that's a that's actually also how Warframe works. Is you unlock like different sections of your ship. Oh really? As you get new, get further along in the story and the narrative and whatnot. What's going on? It's 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 a good it's a good idea though because it the system is it visually. I mean, I've talked about this. Well, looks like yeah. I but like, oh, it does, yeah. did the camera thing again where I can't control the camera. I got this. <laughs> but it's a good <laughs> visual way of like showing your progress. You know. Oh, great, it's cap shield. I see. Oh, so awesome. This thing belongs in a museum. All right, she just quoted Ezreal from League of Legends. This thing belongs in a museum. You belong in a museum. That's his line. What he says. That's from Indiana Jones. I know it's, but it's an Ezreal quote from League of oh, Legends. Is it? Well, they probably got it from. Well, they definitely did because he's a, he's like an explorer <laughs> character, so yeah, he's hundred percent taking that from Indy. Uh, there you go. But it's a weird line to say Captain America's shield belongs at a museum, considering everyone like seems to hate Captain America. What are we doing? What's the point? What did, what We're did Jarvis getting... want me to do? Okay, that's probably our fault for not. Attention. No, I was paying attention though. He said you gotta fix something, but they have no indication as to where that is. Uh oh. He's like, is it in this room? Is it in a different room? I don't know. You didn't tell me. There's nothing on my map. I don't have a map to suggest that objectives. See, your gear, the gear that you put Reactivate on that changes your stats Jarvis. has no aesthetic change. I would be fine if it was like smaller, like patches or like arm bracelets or something and then have like the big cosmetic be yeah. like a full skin and then have like this the gear augment small little parts of your outfit where am i it's kamala khan's room oh so these rooms are all going to open up yeah captain yep. rogers room i see i see what they're doing here yeah it's an interesting idea it was honestly it was a missed opportunity in um in Destiny 2 to have like the tower rebuild like you start in the farm and then you go back to a different tower at the end But it would have been cool to have like oh, I was looking for the science up. lab But there was nothing to direct me to the way that the science lab was So I had to go walk around the entire ship again to find it We should get some nice herbs growing in here Basil, thyme, maybe some oregano I still they haven't introduced me to who Kamala is well, it was probably in a cutscene that we didn't see near the beginning. That's the concerning thing, though. Like, if, if it isn't, why did the game feel it's necessary for us to play this mission before we get access to the actual elements, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Maybe they don't want to, you know, worse. give away all the story right. stuff now and just get you into gameplay? But then why why are we playing this? Like, why is it? Why are there two uh, missions we have to do? Little red lights. Yeah. Why not one? Look, man, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> How am I supposed to reach me? them? All oh, right, stretchy arms that you were just literally crying about. How did you forget about them in the span of like a minute when you were literally crying about them? If you can forget that you a, have powers, we why do you care? We should get some herbs growing in here. We should get some nice Maybe some oregano? Mm, some oregano, some thyme. Oh, is that going to be like when you pick up the plants in um in a fallen order that had literally no purpose whatsoever? <laughs> okay, how does she go from being that upset about not having a cure to this excited about being an Avenger in the span of like? You, you know what? That's usually a sign of Ryan. Multiple writers. <laughs> yeah. All right, that did it. All right, coming back. All right, she just did like the cat paw dance thing. I'm not behind that. Zero <laughs> challenge cards, unlock cosmetic and gameplay rewards in the challenge card. What the fuck? What is going on? But that menu is locked. I can't look at that menu. So why did you just give me a pop up that says I? Could... I have so many <laughs> issues. I have so many issues. It just told me to look at that menu, but that menu also, tab on the thing is not accessible. Also, if you're accessible. using if you're using the menu cursor and you try and select. 
uh, oh, now it's something accessible. out of like the gear section. Sometimes it'll just oh, hop God. over to another category because your your cursor got too you're close right. to it. It does say free. It says free on these, and you're gonna have to pay for it in a game that costs sixty dollars. Yep. All right, all right, all right. I need to say this. No one's watching us right now. Literally, no one's watching us. But I just I need to say this. I mean, this is going on the YouTube. This stuff usually gets more stuff on, v on YouTube. All right, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Battle passes work for free to play games. Or, some, or if they're free. Passes. Or if they're free in a game that's live service, like Halo. I'm just talking. Chief I am just talking about paid battle passes. Yeah. The reason that paid battle passes work is because they are attached to free to play games. So people have way less of an issue paying for a battle pass. And you can usually, if you buy the first the one, you can usually earn the next one with that battle yeah. pass. Yeah. Yeah, if you have a $60 game with a paid battle pass, it just, it's just so greedy. It's so Dude, transparently what, hear me out. what if the battle passes are per character? It's good to see you. After my what if you have to buy them for every character? <laughs> you want the paid rewards? No. What if? Ryan. <laughs> what Ryan. if? Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> oh no. Wait, where do you view the battle pass? Hold on. It's in the where challenge card section of the Small menu. Con. It's just the two of us for now. Under which tab? We're trying to find this it's result. in the challenge card tab. Yeah, uh, Marie, we're gonna need a in like problem. if you if you hit the uh the touch bot, the touch pad. Yeah, there's a challenge card tab on the far right. I see cosmetics, collections, and social. I don't know how I, how I unlocked it and you haven't. Oh man! I also love how you have to view your objectives by hitting the touch bar, and it doesn't just show up in a Use corner. This is a cool map. The coordinates commander hill provided but lead to an oh, you gotta track it. Okay. Why is no, this it called? still doesn't show up. No, it, it doesn't show up. I tried that. Oh my god! That are to your Where do you reconnect Jarvis? <laughs> That's what I was talking about, Wyatt. It's in the science room. Where's the science room? You see what I mean? You see what I mean? <laughs> you see the issue? It's if you go back in the room, there's a room on the side that says science room. You have to go in there and hit things with your fists. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Seriously? It would be wise to examine emissions modifiers and plan your loadout accordingly. Aim forces in this region are reported to use cryotech weaponry. Equip any cold protection gear you may have to better your See, part of me of thought success. that maybe people were overreacting with this a little bit. I don't think they were, Ryan. <laughs> no, I don't think they were. I don't think they this were. This is concerning. Like, and normally, why and I both try to be generally pretty forgiving on games. Yeah. Because we understand what development is like and that and it, it is we difficult. We also, especially right now, and also we understand that... Like even if we don't like a game, it's there's usually someone. Yeah, there's it's usually, usually four people. people. Like, for example, Wyatt is not a huge Warframe person. I love Warframe. It's it's yeah. my jam. A um, lot of people don't like the newer Halo games. I personally think there's a lot to yeah, enjoy about. I just haven't played them. Yeah. So, well, I haven't played five. I've played four, and four was fun. I got five star cosmic you, sprayer bands. Where do you punch? The thing in the science quarters. Uh, the for bottom that. floor, it's the little laptop thing. I don't get why this doesn't have mission markers. Like, I, I understand the not wanting to have UI, but during combat, there's UI all over the place, so it shouldn't really I, matter that I, much. I see, I see the laptop. There's no, like, interact uh, uh, indicator. Or oh, anything. have you talked to uh, Bruce yet? Oh, is that what I have to do? So you gotta talk to him first and then go to the science lab. Oh my god. Good news is after you do that, we do get multiplayer missions. What is all this stuff? I don't actually well, know you how have we... To hold... <laughs> you have to hold square for a really long time. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Alright, let's equip our higher power gear because the game keeps yelling. I, I really the hope there isn't gear. a... There isn't a huge subset of people that's like, oh, it's a beta, it's a beta. For, again, this isn't a beta, and this is two weeks away. <clears throat> like, it's just, there's not enough time to fix what Ryan and I have been complaining yeah. about.
like stress test like servers not working that's one thing but a lot of what we're complaining about is very much like baked into the cake right and you can't it's not something that you can unbake or it would just take too much effort in two weeks exactly I mean, I know this game This game has another beta weekend coming up that's like the free beta on every platform and not just PS4. But it's going to be the same beta. It's the same beta, 100%. So I'm like, they're making a big deal out of this beta. This is not something that I would show to people and be like, play this. Because it's yeah. so confusing. The story doesn't make sense if they want us to be following the story. And we, we don't not... know if they're making us swap between. In combat, the characters that felt good were like Black Widow and uh, Captain Thor America and Kamala. Cap and Kamala. And, and we're, we're playing so much as Hulk, and Hulk just doesn't feel very good. But it's also messy, right? Like, yeah. I couldn't tell what was happening. And, like, Kamala is interesting, but her attack patterns are so weird because of the way she fights that I don't know what's hitting what. I couldn't tell if I, if someone was in range of an attack or not. Exactly. That was an issue I was running into. But with like and Cap, again, it's like I you, understand how Cap works because he punches people and he throws a shield. Simple, yeah, easy and, to understand. And I, I said this before, but like you have to... There's no sense of like when enemies are coming in to attack you. you. You lose all track of what's going on. And a lot of that has to do with the motion blur. You just can't tell what's happening because you can't see anything. You know? Yeah. Okay, I unlocked the challenge card tab now. Um, even though it's not letting me go to it for some reason. Um. Dude, I love that we play the Avengers beta and we learn that the room in our apartment is on fire. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> yep. Hey, I'm on the second floor, and that's on the first floor. I'll be fine. <laughs> I'm on fifth. We'll be okay. Every time Something's go. wrong, Dr. Banner. Kamala, that's not good. <laughs> no, really? <laughs> of course not. Of course that wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> uh, it's just... It, it's taken us an hour and a half to get to the point where you can play a normal mission. That's bad for a beta. That's very yeah. bad. That's very concerning. And who knows? Who knows if there's more? Like, there's probably cutscenes and missions that we missed out on because they like skipped a bunch of stuff. Yeah, we tried to go quickly. So yeah. Well, no, and just in the demo, there's probably cutscenes and stuff that they skipped over for the purposes of the demo. Yeah, hundred percent. Holy crap! So. Commander Hill looks just like. Why? The there's daily challenges. <laughs> no. There were no, points. no, uh, Ryan, no. I don't want to have to do dailies in my Avengers game. Replay sections in an Avengers game, man. That's like the dailies are even in Warframe. I don't like those. They're not that fun. Oh, uh, collect defeat enemies with high five. It wants me to defeat ten enemies with a high five. I don't. Rare resource bundle, Miss Marvel 09. Oh, skip ahead to any challenge card award by purchasing challenge skips. Yep. Skips yep. also unlock all previous items on the road. We'd have to buy eight skips, so it's a hundred coins, probably a dollar per skip. So you want to pay forty dollars per character, presumably. You can skip all of the the levels to get your gear. Oh my god! All of them. Here's the other thing: if they're gonna have co-op, how how are they gonna deal with like people who have different like tiers of gear and stuff like that? Like, are they gonna do a Borderlands style thing where it tries to like average everyone's, where it tries to keep everyone in the same, even if they're like vastly different levels and stuff like that? Is this even drop in drop out co op? I don't know. We Here, have wait, no I have no idea. Can we at least try? Hold on, I want to. I want to try and invite you. Do I have to invite you to like this hub area first? Maybe you invite me to a party. Um. Right, we'll go to the. 
What's this? We'll go to the Quires. just chatting scene when we do this, just in case. I don't want to show anything. Like an email or something. Uh, messages. Party. Am I even appearing as online? No, I'm not. Hold on. Oh, boy. Oh, this is just so... This is so much. This is rough, man. This right there, I invited rough. you to a party. Oh, beautiful. <clears throat> yeah, I'm aware I don't have a microphone on my PS4, because why would I ever want to do that? <laughs> um... Can I join you, though? How do I do that? <clears throat> um. Look, this is weird. Like, it's not telling us how to do multiplayer, which is a concerning thing. Yeah. Um, nope, nope, I don't want to do that. Maybe under the social tab? Oh, wait, 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 I found it. Friend invite unavailable. Friend invites are currently unavailable. Please ensure matchmaking is enabled in the settings menu. What? A strike dream. But when playing multiplayer content, maybe I have to start. So okay, well. wait, matchmaking is enabled. Whoa! It said it said it's only available when playing multiplayer content. I think we have to be in a mission to do this. So I'm gonna join a mission and then try to invite you. Wait, wait! You can't like gather up everyone in the in the okay the tower. Ahead of time? I think it's because that was a tutorial. So as soon as I started the mission, there was a thing that said enable matchmaking. Yes or no? Okay. Okay, it's playing a cutscene, so I gotta probably presumably watch this cutscene. Sure I would maybe excited. start the mission too, Wyatt, and then just go through the cutscene to make sure you have okay. matchmaking enabled. Because I need to get more of that juicy story. Oh wait, here I can. Hulk is now available and can be selected. Wait, invite friends. I can do it now. Oh, alright, invite me. Invitation. Cannot send Maybe the invitation. Uh, oh, wait, wait. Yeah, try starting oh. the mission. Okay. Oh, baby. Cutscene. No, don't search for heroes. God damn it. Even in a game like this, like, Troy okay, Baker's the invite just trying, went man. through. It said the invite went through. Oh, 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 I see it. Join. Fail to join this session. This feature is disabled until multiplayer has been unlocked. What are you talking about? All right, yeah, you have to start your mission, I think. All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to select Kumala because, yes. <laughs> um. Why am I stuck in this menu? This is just so strange. It really does feel like awkwardly bolted on. Um, here, let me try inviting you. Hold on. Okay, we're gonna... Um, friends... Invites are currently unavailable. Please ensure matchmaking is enabled. I did! Ugh. Matchmaking is enabled. Alright, I'll just start the mission first.
I just sent you another invite. See if that one works. Hold on. All right. I'm now in the whoa. Okay. So at least the mission I just started, it's this like big area. Yeah, failed it's the war zones. Session. It's the stuff that's actually supposed to be fun. Hold on. It said I failed to join the session. Oh, come on. Matchmaking is enabled. What? The f this is so strange. No, maybe I actually just have to start the mission. Let's just... Yeah, you know, we'll start the Activate mission. tactical awareness. What the heck? Yeah, this is so... So oh, weird. it's so blurry, man! What's going on? <laughs> it's so blurry! It's, dude, the, like... Just the blurry mess of everything gets so much worse when you're in these like a like, Hulk's texture spaces. hasn't loaded in, and he's like super low res right now, and it looks real bad. Whoa, whoa, what the hell? What is that going on? This is very concerning. <laughs> yeah, this is like the um, most concerning part of it so far. <laughs> Wow, okay, so in the social hub, where you, or the social tab, where you can see Hulk and Kamala, there's two instances of Kamala, and they're just clipping into each other. Hold on. Oh my god. Hey, hold on, hold on, I'll, I'll put in the chat. Oh man. Um. Okay. Yeah, uh. Okay. Uh. All right, I'm going to try and invite you again. Friends list is taking a hot minute because I have so many friends that it's just... Uh... <laughs> so just be aware, these trees are very weirdly scaled. They're not as big as they should be. All right, I sent you an invite. Did you get my invite? Yes, let me. Okay, cool. Also, I put the picture up in uh, group chat. <laughs> oh god. Oh, did I get the invite? Yes, there it is. Disable until multiplayer has been unlocked. Okay, I don't know what's going on anymore. Apparently we haven't unlocked multiplayer even though it said we unlocked multiplayer. Well, I wasn't even allowed to like think about inviting friends. Just play around. And, I, how, did you? Are you in like the war zone and everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut. This is weird. Use resources to boost gear. Yeah, you tutorial is that. Do you one. see how blurry this is, by the way? Yeah, this is. This looks really bad. Everything is muted. Oh no. Did you the, see the picture I put in uh, chat, by the way? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this looks this looks like it's 720p. Like... What is going on? Oh man. Big girl Kamala is not fun to control at all. Oh yeah, she feels like Hulk. Yeah. What is what does Crystal Dynamics have against large people? I, <laughs> I don't understand. It's just doesn't. And like three of the like four ultimates we've seen so far just get big, because we know yeah. Iron Man's is the Hulkbuster. Oh, that's right. So he's just gonna get in the Hulkbuster, which means he's just gonna be Hulk, and Hulk's not fun. So. Like, certain things like the movement with Kamala here, where you can, like, grapple on top of, of different environment pieces is fun, but... It's a lot more open-ended than I was expecting. But yeah, like, it's open-ended, but I have no direction. Like... 
Well, they're giving me... I have an objective marker. I have an objective marker, but what's the point of the rest of this stuff here? Like, what am I getting from it? The game hasn't told me. I think... You know what, Ryan? What? These are just spaces to grind out for gear, probably. 100%. To, like, that's what this is. To, like, get your... Yeah, to, like, get your dailies and weeklies done. But, like, my gear doesn't make me look better. It doesn't do anything cool. It's not like Warframe where I'm unlocking, like, a new weapon or something. It's I'm getting they're gear also that just... is invisible... And doesn't do the anything. Most, they're also just the most boring stat upgrades you could imagine. My light like, levels. Going up. Like, even in Destiny. Like, in Destiny, I could get a new, like, gun or something that looks cool. Or a shader or something fun. But they're not going to have just... shaders in this, because if you could recolor outfits, then monetization would go away. Strongbox chest? Oh Is this a loot box? I swear to God. Oh. I swear to God. <gasps> Look for a chest with gear nearby. Oh, uh, dear God! Just let me in the building. Yeah, I don't know how to get in this. How do you? I forgot I had Hulk as a companion. Is this a door? Can I go in this door that doesn't look interactable? Oh, we gotta look for a... Oh, it's like the... You gotta stand on both buttons... thing. Oh my god. Okay. Again, it feels like a game from, you know, 2010. Healing spirit, heroic ability, it didn't tell... Oh, there's button number one. Hulk, go over to button number two, please. No, you don't, you don't have to stand oh. on it, you can just press it. What? <laughs> It's What's just the literally point of a this? button press. Why did it play like a, a tune as if I did something import impressive with that? Also, you can bunny hop as Kamala and it's like 10 times faster. I don't know if you noticed. I think that's actually intentional. I think that's like how you're supposed like, to move. <laughs> it looks so silly. <laughs> this does look really dumb. This feels very strange. Like, I don't... There's, like, very few enemies. I'm just fighting turrets right now. Yeah, Literally. here's the turrets. This is the oh, only thing. also, my screen has gone black except for the UI. Oh. Oh, no, that was a transition to a cutscene. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna pull up the turret. Oh, yep, there's the black screen. That's an unfortunate cutscene transition yep very interesting uh uh artistic decision i must say yeah all right I've oh we are dude here. it's a defend the point it's oh my god it's literally like destiny one uh defend ghost you have to stand on this one point uh <laughs> Except enemies won't come and attack you because they're ranged, so you just have to snipe at them with your with your ranged attack. This oh is, man, this is so strange. This is very concerning. It's getting more concerning the longer we play, and I, that's I know. a very bad sign. Yeah. Oh, now my frame rate's really starting to go downhill here. Yeah, my frame rate's awful even on the pro right now. It's blurry. Oh, I'm on performance wow. mode. There's just so much stuff on the screen constantly. I can't see what's happening. Like what? This, I can't. The audio is, what is happening? completely muted. This game is not ready to come out. Nope. The longer Anyone we play, the more says... I'm realizing that this is totally not ready to come out. There's no way. Anyone is, who says, oh, yeah. this is just a beta, it'll be fine by launch, you're, I'm sorry. You have no idea what a beta is, and you're being, you're being lied to. I mean, that could fly for, I'm like, they, they've done betas of games that actually are like that, where they're, they'll be fine. This is not one of those this examples. This is certainly not it. This is not one of those examples. I don't think, like, people, people who yeah, aren't us, people who, people who haven't made games before, they don't understand what a beta actually no, is. No, they're just gonna think this is just gonna feel bad. It's just gonna feel awful. Yeah. And not know why. Like, everything is too floaty, I think. Like, combat has oh. zero impact. 
All right, let's see if, if the AI is good enough to... Oh, the AI was actually able to revive me, so that's oh, something. Yeah. Just a bit longer. This is so long. It's so long in the area you have to stand in is so small. Oh, and again, there's so many ranged characters. There's so many ranged enemies that, like, you can't just... Yeah, there's, like, a giant Kamala, turret shooting at me right now, and I can't do anything about it. I can see it working if you're playing as, like, you know, uh, Iron Man or Black Widow, but if you're Kamala or, or a melee-based character, you're screwed. Yeah, like this guy just like shockwaved me off the point. I don't... These enemies must be defeated. Well, I've got to kill the enemies now. Whoa. My entire screen just has this frost effect on it that is covering so much space and doesn't look good. Here's the thing, too. I wanted this to be really good. No, I did too. I love, I the, love the characters here. Yeah, I love the idea of a big budget, like, real, like, basic, just beat em up that I can play with some friends because we're all Marvel nerds. Like, I love that idea. And honestly, if you want that, play Ultimate Alliance, not this. This is I know, not but like, filling that. But, like, I, I, but Ultimate, you know, third, Ultimate Alliance is not big budget. It's... Yeah, but, like, this is more of, like, third person, like, character action style thing, which is more, more of my thing. Yeah. You know? I think that ability heals. The game didn't tell me. I assume I could check my skills menu and look. But... Should be coming through now. Loud and clear. The tracker will lead you to the shield bunker. Once th they they are trying to add in like environmental hazards that you can use and try to avoid, which is something. Let's get out of the cold, Hulk. Yeah. Wait. Not... I like when I, I like when games try to incorporate the vi environmental hazards in combat more. I'm a That's little worried I... that it's gonna. The way it sounded in the menu is that you're gonna basically just be able to forget about it once you get a set of gear that's got like resistance to whatever environment you're in. And then it just won't even matter. Yeah, and then it won't matter. I think that's what they're going for. Is it's essentially gonna be a pain until you get because they gear. want you to make different builds for different environments and stuff. Yeah. Is there something here? There's like a big red icon over this. Yeah, I see it. Here. I see it too. Reach shield bunker. I literally haven't even started yet, Kamala. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. And scale feels weird too. Like it still feels like I just fell through the world. I just oh, fell through no. the world and instantly died. Oh no. I just fell through the world that instantly killed me. Oh. This is sad. This is really sad because Crystal Dynamics, at least from my experience, makes really polished stuff. Yeah, like the Tomb Raider yeah. games are great. Like, they're not incredible. Like, I think especially Shadow of the Tomb Raider wasn't yeah, an incredible they're not game. But it's polished. They're polished as heck, though, to a T. And this is just. This is painful. Yeah. Signal should be coming through now. What's going to be this tutorial all over again that I have to hold the button for? Oh my god, wait, really? Alright, it's not going to make me... I mean, that, that's concerning that I literally, I fell through the ground and it wasn't even like I collided with something. I just was jumping and then fell through the ground. What am I supposed to be doing? Locate shield factory. What is this red icon doing here? I don't understand. Wait, more The red icon has nothing to do with it. The red icon is a bug, I think. Oh my god. Seriously? Yeah, I, I literally had to run the opposite direction to find it. Oh, wait a minute! Is it- wait, there's a signal detector. Oh! Yeah, you gotta follow the signal detector. Oh! It is rather unpleasant existing okay. with instantaneous access to all the information in the known universe. That mini game that everyone loves to do. Yeah, the Find It minigame. It's called Finders Keepers, Losers Weepers. Except everyone who bought the game is the loser. <laughs> that was kind of mean, but also... I mean, they're out $60. Yeah. Probably more at this rate. And look, hey, if you played the, you know, demo, I mean beta, and you had fun, you know, more power to you, I guess, but... I mean... <laughs> like, look at this fork line. <laughs> Wyatt, 
As you're moving around with Kamala, just like keep pressing and unpressing the right trigger. It's really funny. <laughs> Here, wait a minute. I'm gonna try inviting you again. Hold on. I refuse to believe that it's just not. I think we have to un to do this mission to unlock multiplayer. And they're really making you work for multiplayer, aren't they? At this rate, I don't think it's gonna be better. If anything, it's gonna be buggier. Oh. Choir of the normal uplink. Is something gonna go wrong? Use the elevator, baby. You can't move while in the elevator. You just have to hey, stand there. Good old Nick Fury, how you doing? Oh no, the plot hook of Nick Fury's gone, just like everything else. Oh, Nick Fury's not looking so hot. <laughs> That's a rough looking Nick Fury. <laughs> wait, wait, where's Nick Fury? I haven't seen Nick Fury at all. He shows up in a cutscene. It's like a video, what? it's not, he's not actually here. Oh, okay. These really do look like dollar store versions of MCU characters. The more I see it, yeah, it's like what you would find like when you see like a really like shady, like uh, app store game advertisement, and yeah. it's like, oh, it looks just like this game, but we can't call it that, you know. Falsely behind strong boxes that contain valuable gear. I don't. This is... I'm getting so much trash gear already, I can tell. <laughs> yep. Stuff like one star nimble vest. I'm just like, I don't... <laughs> nimble How does that make me Ooh. a better superhero? <laughs> like in Destiny, it's a, you get a new piece of armor that changes your look, and it's like, this is better armor. I understand that. Oh boy. But Ryan, they have two weeks to fix, you know. Uh, two weeks to make it better. Let's think about it. They ha All right, Ryan, let's make a list. They have two weeks to fix bugs, the combat, uh, the visual effects, the story. Um, motion blur. Mo yeah, motion blur. Um, Debatably, the character designs. Depends on who you are. Um, possibly multiplayer not working properly. Um, controls, uh, uh, <laughs> the camera, oh boy. Camera's the camera, one. uh, the enemy uh, performance enemy variety so far is very, very poor. performance. Yeah, that's a big one. Sound design, um, better, uh, environment design. Thunderclap being an actual, like, good ability would be nice. Right, right. Um, making Hulk not feel Like bad. a wet noodle. <laughs> like a freaking pool noodle. That's what he feels like right now. Thunderclap should be a thunderclap. It shouldn't be like an, oops, I accidentally swatted a fly out of the air clap. So, I know this is going to sound kind of rich coming from two people that are making a game about robots, but how boring is it to fight enemies that are just robots? I mean, it's boring if they're boring. Like, we have no reason to fight these. We haven't been given a reason. We don't know what they are. They're just, like, mooks. Well, the thing is, too, they're not taking into account the fact that they're robots into any kind of, like, attacks or enemy design. Yeah, they're just even they're the way that like they're human grunts. But they're not just robots. Please rate that mission on a scale of 1 to 5 with 5 being highest. That was, like, a... Oh, boy. That was a 1. Because I fell through the floor and... It didn't work. The motion blur, like, everything is just not working right now. This is very concerning. <laughs> Combat, too, it feels slow, like, slower it's than it slow, should slow, things take too long to kill. It's floaty. And like, and, like, your shield break attack takes 
so long. There's such a long build-up. This loading screen you know? is horrendously long as well. Awareness during combat is another problem. Now that the new lump link has been installed, Jarvis can access his full database. Whoa. Whoa. I will say I've fallen twice in combat. Okay, now Hulk isn't doing a great job of reviving me. Wait, no, 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 oh, what? Oh, no, he revived me. Look at him go. All right, that's two for two on the AI revives. Good job, Hulk. Very proud of you. Gold star. And here's the thing, too. I said combat was slow, right? That yeah. would be fine. That would be fine if there was more weight behind your attacks. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's just very little. Like, if there was better sound design and just more of, like, a like a kick, you know? Like, more oomph. I would be fine with, like, a slower, more deliberate combat system. I need that harm room unlocked. Eh. Something wrong. It's been uneasy. See, the largest concern I have right now is that the game's going to launch and not have all the content in. That yeah. it'll launch and it'll be like they're going to do the evolving story thing and you won't have a full campaign to play. Live service models always gives them an excuse to not have all the content at launch. Every... Like, live service can work if you're a game like... I, I was going to say Destiny 2. Destiny 2 it's not even doing it that well anymore. Um, if Destiny 2 didn't have the Eververse, I think, or it had a less... Like War Warframe is doing Warframe is doing great, but Warframe well. is like a free to play game that has had seven years of experience with it. More than that, actually, because they were developing it way belong then. But it's been live for seven years, mm -hmm. and they they've made mistakes and they're recovering from them at some points. Like the last year for Warframe was pretty bad, but now they're doing they're rebooting. They're they're fixing the things that were bad, right? And because it's mm -hmm. free, they have time to do that. And because they already had a de dedicated player base that isn't leaving because like one update was bad, so. But but this is like if this is the launch state of this game, they're not going to keep people around. Yeah. Because you have to have your first impression for new players be good, or else they won't stay. And also, the promise of more content isn't going to fix the fact that there's a lot of core issues with. Yeah, the game like design. it doesn't fix the fact that it's just not very fun. Like you can, they can pile all of the half baked frosting on top of this. It's like I'm already getting bored of want. playing Kamala, and I've played two missions with her. Yeah, literally two missions, and they're probably gonna ask you to play like twenty hours of Kamala to like unlock her stuff. Not, yeah, and not to mention, you know, the amount of times you gotta replay a mission, or or f you know, fuck around in the war zones. And that that entire war zone was just not fun. Like there there was yeah. at no point during that war zone was I really enjoying myself. It felt like the Plains of Eidolon when it first came out, just empty for no Yeah, reason. empty so with no space, direction. With no... Yeah. And I put it this way, like, Plains of Eidolon and Warframe still, to a, to a degree, feel that way, where you don't have a lot of direction unless you're doing a bounty, like a mission mm -hmm. that you have there. But Warframe has this whole second open world call, called Fortuna, which is so much better. And, like, there's tons going on. It's a lot bigger. You've got dynamic missions happening. You can, like, capture bases and like talk to people in them take missions mm -hmm. from them it's a lot more fun and i just realized i'm like i'm yawning like i'm getting no bored. i'm literally i'm bored i am 100 percent just bored of this game and i can't even interact with the war table right now like what is i want to at least try one mission with you so do i but, but I, I can't interact with the war table now hold on i gotta talk what is to this happening this is just so concerning I'm hold on. <laughs> I can't I'm interact with the table. Wait. You can talk to um 
Bruce. I don't know if that... What's the mission? <laughs> What's going on? The points earned. I don't... How did I earn these points? I have four levels of my challenge card. I don't know what I did to get those Jarvis four levels. Jarvis is made whole again with a new neural uplink. Kamal and Bruce hope he is the key to finding Tony Stark. Current objectives, find Tony Stark. Okay, where do I go? This is a recurring issue. It, is this game does not tell you what you're supposed to do. Oh, we're supposed to go to the harm room. Test oh. out the harm room. Where's the harm room? <sighs> Technology seven. lab. Bruce Banner. Plant. Part. We got this room. There's nothing in here. Thor, Clint. Oh boy. There's just so many barriers to doing the fun parts. <laughs> yep. If this was just a linear, like, beat em up with drop in, drop out co op, it'd be fine. Is this the harm room? Is it back here? Is there a map? It's so hard to believe all this is real. This is the I Quinjet. Mean, I just flew on a Quinjet to a secret shield base. Uh, we saw Nick Fury, and, and now I'm talking to Jarvis. Kamal is so excited about all this, and it's like none of that what we just did was very exciting. I need to apologize, Miss Cobb. Yeah. <laughs> He's just so hyped. Why is there an RV here? What's going on? Come look at the RV, sure. This is so con concerning. Where's the harm room? There's no map markers. There's nothing to tell me where it is. <laughs> and presumably I can't do anything else until I find it. So is it in here? <sighs> can I even access that it? That was a legitimate, that was a real yawn right there. This is what. This is. Oh my god! I found it. I found the harm room. Where is it? Okay, so you're in the you're in the the place um, with the Quinjet and the RV, right? Yeah. Okay, and then there's the opening hangar, like the little opening. If you're looking at the opening, turn right, and on that bottom floor, there's like a circular door. You go through the door, it'll lead you to the harm room. How does the game expect you to find this? That's my question. You, you gotta explore. You gotta explore the the hub, Ryan. You can't just be led by the hand with with stupid dumbass markers all day. What are you? What are you? A chimpanzee? Look at you. There was nothing here to make me believe anything. Here was something called the harm room. Ready. The harm. So this is ba basically the the. What's it called from X Men? The danger room. Why am I suddenly playing Iron Man? Uh, cause it's the holodeck. How do you fly? But why is, is Iron Kamala Man again? Iron Man? How wait? How do you fly as Iron Man again? I thought it was you just double press jump button but it doesn't appear I, to be working is it disabled in the harm room I, I don't also the the dodge button like the animation for dodging is is weird it's just this little like I mean Iron Man is fun to play like I like Iron Man here he hits hard mm -hmm. he's got good old Iron Man blasts it feels like playing Iron Man. So what? Why are they starting us out with Kamala and Hulk <laughs> instead of characters that people really care about? Should we stop? Because they want you to work towards the interesting characters. Like you got to work for it. Yeah, yeah but if, you, don't if your other characters just aren't fun to play, like Kamala's kind of fun, but Hulk was just not good. 
Yeah, how, like, you made Hulk in a video game not fun. Like, what the heck, man? Honestly. Having your counter button be right trigger, by the way, is feels weird to me. Does it feel weird to you? It feels weird to me. Yeah, it's weird. I'm used to it being like a left bumper. Yeah, or Y from Batman. Yeah, yeah. It's either a counter button or it's a, a like Sekiro parry button. And some games do like a right bumper, which also works fine. But like the trigger is a weird button because yeah. it it's not. It's analog, right? It's not a digital button, so you have like a scale of one to one hundred. And when you need quick, you know, reactions like a counter button, it just you want it on like a bumper work. or a button that you can press. Yeah. Usually, the, the reason you do bumpers is because you're you don't have to move your trigger off of the uh, the camera controls to press it. Yeah. In this case, it's a problem anyway because you have to attack with the uh, face button, so your camera controls are given up anyway. Apple holding. Why is the combat tutorial here? Yeah, why? Uh, why are they teaching me how to do combat good here? I've played two missions. We've been playing this game for two hours. We're getting more tutorials. And imagine the, the, combat like, the combat tutorial combat, is here. Imagine the combat tutorial in the harm room and they're training Kamala. Like, there it makes both story sense and gameplay sense. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like for the sake of a beta, why not just start it, start people out with this tutorial, skip that first mission? I mean, I like that as an introductory mission. It's exciting. It cycles through all the characters quickly. That was a good idea for a starting mission. Oh, but you, you why have to have unlock the ability to hover away it? So they start you off with all the good shit. They do that thing, that Castlevania Dude, thing. Dude, flight as Iron Man feels bad. This is weird. He feels very... It seems like he's out of scale. Hold... Towards an enemy to vault. <laughs> this is kind of cool, but like... His flying seems... Useless. Doesn't control well. It's it's either too slow or like too fast too. You know what I mean? Well, I think it's flight. Flight should be like a travel mode, right? It probably shouldn't be how you're fighting normally. So it should be really quick, but it feels super slow because it seems like you're you have to move at a speed that everyone on, on the foot can keep up with for the sake of multiplayer, right? So you can't move very quickly. So it doesn't feel like you're flying. Mm-hmm. And that's weird. So I was just, they showed Thor in the loading screen. The lightning coming from his eyes is not coming from his eyes. It's coming from his eyelid. Don't you know that's where he gets all of his powers? But it was, it was like clipping through and it didn't look. <laughs> that's the loading screen. That's something you see a lot. Also, it's weird that they have the ascend oh, button and the, and the, like exit flight entirely button is the same button like to to ascend while you're flying is holding x but then yeah. to get out of flying it's also x like that bad That's weird ah uh, and aiming is bad like with your ranged attacks, it's bad. Like, I would expect to leave flight, you would hit circle, because that's what descends, so that makes more sense. Yeah, so like, you, like, descend, but no, you hit X? You, you, you hold... It kind of feels like this game just hasn't been tested. You, you hold X to ascend, but press it to... What the fuck? Because I feel like people would have said something about that if they tested this. Yeah. En enough. Like, I'm sure they've well, tested it be, to some degree. What if it's, like just, an like, anthem, what if it's an Anthem situation where, like, Anthem, they literally couldn't test their game. They didn't... It just they, wasn't ready. Time kept changing, you know what I mean? Yeah. This is, 
It feels like that. It just feels like it wasn't tested. It does. It feels super unpolished. And like these enemies are so boring. Like I have yeah. no context for why I'm fighting them. I have no reason to. Like, and we keep bringing up Destiny and Warframe, but that's because they do that kind of thing well. Like, in Destiny, the Vex and everything, and, and like, the uh, the Fallen are different, unique factions that have, like, lore reasons for you to be fighting them. And you ally with some, there's differences. These are Warframe just generic robots from, from generic... Yeah, these are... I have no depth to these guys. Like, I don't know what they're here for. In fact, they're robots. They, they're just following orders. It's just... It's weird. And again, if you wanted to have human enemies and robot enemies, have human enemies like maybe take more damage, but have them be more difficult and in smaller numbers, and then have the robots just absolutely swarm you. And they would, you know, create some kind of gameplay difference between the two of them. But right now they feel interchangeable. And they shouldn't be because one is a human and one's a robot. It's just they shouldn't feel the same, you know? It feels like this, like, there was a designer who was working on a tutorial, which was this, and then a completely different designer came in and then did the beginning sequence, which is also a tutorial, and they yeah. just didn't communicate. And they both ended up in the game somehow. That's not a challenge. That was a tutorial. Why are they calling that a harm challenge? It was literally the tutorial. Oh, congratulations, you've unlocked the war table. We are war table. How have we just unlocked it? Why was that tutorial after the first war table mission? You, like, we were so confused as to why we couldn't play together because it kept saying multiplayer and. Oh my. Uh... God. Oh, and now they unlock the other heroes for us to play. What? This is just so concerning. Also, Bruce Banner just popped in out of nowhere. Hey, what's up? Did you finish the harm room? <laughs> yeah, I did. Okay, so I think we can actually like play a mission together now. Wow, really? We get the honor? Oh, can I go to the... How do I do this? It's just not... It's so Hold on, unclear. Wait, I, got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah, invite me. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I can't determine Friend how to do it. Invite unavailable. Friend invites are currently unavailable. Please ensure matchmaking is enabled in the settings menu. Oh, I I did I disabled mine a minute ago. Let me turn that on. Here, let me make sure I didn't disable it too. Hold on. All right, now you should be able to. My my headache has not left me. No, if anything, my mine is getting worse. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is. This is going to be something to talk about tomorrow, too, on the... Oh, yeah. Oh, Friend invite boy. unavailable. Friend invites are currently unavailable. Please ensure matchmaking is enabled in the settings menu and that the strike team isn't full. Invites are only available when playing multiplayer content. Okay, I have to start one. I have to, like... You can't invite someone to, like, the hub? Why? There's three computers here. There's four computers here that all access the war table. How is this not designed for four people to be running around? How? All right, I'll start a mission and then invite you. How's that sound? Uh, I'm, I'm starting one right now to go to the Quinjet. Because right, I think we can't enter the Quinjet unless we start a mission, which is very <laughs> strange. Like, you can do these, like... Because this obviously, this could have just all been a menu. But you can do this, like... Social hub. Right, I sent you an invite. Well, but this is not doing it well at all. I mean, the, the concerning thing here is it seems like it's auto searching for other players. I don't want other players. I want my friends, right? And it's oh, it's now putting it's random working. players in my team. It's working, I think. Okay, you know what? I'm leaving. Doing this. I don't want this to search for people. Can I disable that? Connecting. Failed to join the session. 
There, I just sent you another one. I hit accept, and then I don't think anything happened. I'll do this, and I'll do that, and I guess we're gonna have to deal with random people in our game? So that there's just no way to make like a private party? Um, nothing happened. I'm in the main menu. They kicked me to the main menu for some reason. Should I like... Maybe... Yeah, I, I would guess go in. You having fun yet, Ryan? <sighs> <I'm> so <laughs> concerned. Are you having fun yet, Ryan? Huh? There's so many barriers to like the main point of playing this game. With a co-op game, like you need your co-op co not working like instantly is very much a problem, and especially like this is the UI just not being readable. Yeah. There's one out of four strike team members. Can I invite others? I think so. I tried to, certainly. I'm at a black screen. Oh, no, no, another loading screen. There was a loading screen that then opened up an, another loading screen. Gotcha. I gotta say... I'm not a fan of Kumala's costume, like her hero costume when you see it. Yeah. Connecting. No, I don't I don't get like the lightning bolt and the weird stuff. Well, like her casual outfit is fine. It's like when yeah, you yeah, actually yeah. see Oh, wait. <gasps> what? Is that you in the strike team with me? I don't you're not in mine so far. Wait, who are you playing as? Uh uh, Romanov. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm in your strike team, I think. Does it say the Mega Match on it? Uh, I mean, I'm hovering the name over you, and it doesn't have any name whatsoever. But. Okay, I guess we'll see if it worked. Alright, I'm playing as Iron Man. No, Which, story-wise, I don't think makes sense, but, like, it's cool. There's no one in my strike I think I haven't joined. Oh, you're, yet. there! You are. You are. You're in there now. I'm in a loading screen. You were there for a quick second, and now you're vanished. And <laughs> is it gonna kick me? Connection error. Dude, no. I just sent another invite. <laughs> uh. Hey, Ryan. Do you? Do you want to play some Halo to cheer us up after this? I have I have to go do some stuff after this. Unfortunately, I can like later tonight. But okay, this has been. I, I'm gonna need to like go cleanse myself. It's like take a walk. Oh man! I need to go like pet my dog or something after this. <laughs> I'm gonna like take another shower or this something. Is traumatizing. I'm in just a black screen right now. All right, maybe. You're in the... I'm launching the mission to see if you, you'd auto-join. I don't think you will. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I just want to see if Black Widow's fun. I just want to see if Black Widow's fun. Because if Black Widow's not fun, we have a problem. I mean, Hulk is already not fun. That's enough of a problem. Yeah, but Black Widow, she she can't change size. Right? That's a big... <laughs> that's a running theme so far, is that changing size is bad. <laughs> She doesn't have power. She just hits things. And shoots things. With and shoots things. Understandable abilities. Oh, God. This little yeah. screen's so long. Oh, I'm just in a just black screen. This is ridiculous. Is this is such a bad state for this game to be in right now. Is it worth 
Because, like, all right, let's say this is a beta. Let's say this was an old build. Why would you show such yeah, an like, old build? Yeah, like, why would you play this and then be like, we can, people will love this, right? Like, like even if even if they're like, oh, yeah, all these bugs are going to be ironed out by launch. It's like, no one's going to be interested at this point because you have such a bad first impression. And it's also, like, the sheer variety of bugs we saw. Like, I, I literally fell through the floor. Yeah. I had characters duplicating themselves. I showed, yeah, I, I, you saw the, like two instances of Kumala just kind of... Well, Black Widow's got the grappling hook, I think. He does. Okay. Alright, fuck it. I'm gonna restart. Is it worth a restart? I'll restart. Those weird aim things. It's like, this doesn't feel like a city as well. I went to the Eastern Seaboard and I was like, this feels like a Lego Marvel's Avengers environment. I think this is the closest thing where it's clearly like not a real city. Oh god, the frame rate is so bad. I walked over, found something called a dreadbot in the frame rate, immediately could not handle it. Oh, this is so bad. This is not playable. This frame rate is not playable. And this is nothing exciting is going on right now. That's but you're playing so as Black concerning. Widow, isn't that isn't that exciting enough for you? I mean, Black Widow feels fine for the most part, but, like, this is awful. Oh, oh, I have- the music's skipping, the audio's skipping! Like, what is going on? And now I'm dead? And it's just nothing was happening. Here, try inviting me again, I restarted. I don't think I can, because my- No, you can't invite people once a mission has started. There's no drop-in, drop-out co-op? That's concerning. For a co-op game. Holy Like, we, ha crap. we have the technology, right? Drop-in, drop-out's not that hard. Aliens Colonial Marines had drop-in, drop-out co-op. And it worked until we modded it. <laughs> but it worked. Oh, man. Oh, my God. This just this just doesn't... Nothing about what's happening now is exciting or particularly fun. I have right, a that's headache. Cool. I do. I like I have a small So headache. so Natasha's ultimate is she pulls out like this electrified staff. That's fun. But like Here, I'm gonna start a mission and then try and invite you, just so that we oh can get God. one game. So we can try with the two of us. One game. I mean this is just like blanket bad. Can I back out of this? Return to Quinjet. Oh, Lord Almighty, this is something else. And and we, you know, Ryan said this before. We we try and be fair, you know. We, but like, we, you we guys can see this. Like, like, it's just not working. <laughs> yeah, it's like we we try and be be you know fair, and because we know how development works, and development right now is also a complete shit show for everyone. But like. Those games had been in development for... We saw it, like, three E3s ago. Yeah. Or I think two E3s ago, which is still two years, right? Right. So, y you launch a mission from, like, the table, and then there's, like, a... There's I like think a you, once you're in thing. the Quinjet, you can invite me. Okay. Um... I think what you can do is you launch a mission and then leave the strike team. I think it's triangle when you're in the team. And then that'll put you in the Quinjet and then you can invite me. What? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> All right. Let's do... Okay, I selected the mission. Now you gotta go to the Quinjet, or it takes you to the Quinjet. Alright, I'm gonna invite you in just a sec here. There. Oh, received an invite. 
join. Oh, Please wait. Work. We already got a rando in our strike team. You got to get moving before it fills up. I know. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. As soon as the loading screen's done. This is just so concerning. I don't think I've ever played a game demo and been and been this just like openly worried. How's it connecting? It says connecting. It? Failed to join the session. <laughs> and it booted me in the main menu. All right, that's it. I'm done. Fuck it. No, I'm done this playing is it. This. Yeah, I'm we're, done. We're done. This. Okay, so. See, even my dog knows what's going on. She's she's upset right. at this game. Do we want to uh, give final thoughts before we yeah log off? Yeah, we do. You want to start? This game's very concerning. There are elements of things that are fun here, like some of the characters. Like from the the five minutes I got to play of Black Widow was fun. Iron Man in the harm room was cool, but they're starting us out with the characters that I think are the least interesting and the least fun to play. You guys saw everything else we did. It was all a mess. Like everything yep. we did was a mess. There were constant bugs. It's the way performance too was slow. awful. It, the the combat's way too slow and doesn't have enough punch behind Hulk it. Hulk feels like a wet noodle. Hulk feels terrible. Uh, the story, as you could probably tell, did not grab our attention at any point. Um, they had. Look, think of it this way. How many different forms of storytelling did they have in this? They had like the weird cheap cutscene thing. They had the text box. They had like the in-game thing. Yeah. It's like a mess. Okay, so I think we're gonna we'll we'll have some more organized thoughts tomorrow for the podcast. Because <laughs> uh, right now we're just like, what's going on? It's gonna be just us two just ranting about it for like. Yeah, it's minutes. gonna be no like a, a ten-minute segment of us just being like, what was going on? <laughs> Uh, yeah, if you, I, you know, I, I don't want to say if you enjoyed this VOD, because this VOD is, is a mess, like, everything here was a mess. We didn't, we didn't enjoy making this. We didn't enjoy filming this. We wanted to. <laughs> we really wanted to. Yeah, we I really excited. wanted to give this game the benefit of the doubt. Why and I just I gotten like, out if... of a meeting and we're like, hey, we should play Avengers, because that's fun, right? And then yeah. it made us play two hours before we even got the option to invite another player to our game. After and confusing us multiple times, and then it didn't work. <laughs> and this is just, like, very, very concerning for a game that comes out next month. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's our ending notes. We don't have a lot else to say. Yep, other than just don't be fooled by the fact that this is called a beta. This is not yep. a beta. This is an insult. And be cautious to... with pre-orders, especially on consoles where you can't refund them, like the PS4. Any game that locks a demo or beta behind pre-orders is incredibly suspicious. Yeah. Every time. Yeah, unless it's something that has had reviews out for a while, I would be very concerned. Um, but yeah, that, that's where we'll end. Thanks for watching or, or listening or whatever you did. You know, hopefully this game in like six months to a year is better. <laughs> I have very little faith that it will be at launch. So, Hey, look, look. If you're excited, you had fun with the beta, like, you know, more power to you. Like, enjoy yourself. Don't let anyone, you know be a dick because you're enjoying it and they aren't like it's fine but you know <laughs> yeah all right thanks for watching